about to get money. We yeah. are live. Welcome to the final episode of Beastly Thoughts Live. It's a bittersweet moment, but we're going out with a bang. I got a six pack of beer. This show ain't over till that shit's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. We're going all night long. Yeah. I've, Not until uh, Briar hits the floor. I've Yo. been in my wife's drink cabinet and I found some <laughs> girly looking alcohol. So we're down to party. Perfect. I have made a special trip to the liquor store on a Sunday. On the Lord's yeah. Day. That's when you really look at them, right? <laughs> now, I did the same fucking thing, right? I, I was getting ready to do the show. It's 5 o'clock. My good friend came over, hang out, hung out with me, played some VR. And I said, well, we already decided we were going to get fucking drunk. We were going to get shit-faced today, and I don't have anything here to drink. So here I am walking into the liquor store just looking like I need it so badly. And I didn't want to get what I normally drink, that 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 pink the Zima? Uh, girl. The Zima or something. Zima. It's good. But pink Moscato. Clearly, why it's been so there. successful for such a long period of time. <laughs> <laughs> so I got me. At least it looks like a man's drink. It probably still tastes like sugar and what and, is that? And, and is chocolate. that Corvassia? It's, no, it's not Corvassia. I got to work tomorrow. This is uh, <laughs> Irish cream. I, some oh, Irish what is it? What is that that's some that stereotype Carolina? shit right there. It is. I just cream. saw the. I just saw the sea. I was like. We have that same Irish cream in no, our house. So, yeah. You saw a black man drinking alcohol and immediately went for Cavassier there. You <laughs> caught me. <laughs> you caught shit, me. We made it 169 episodes. I've finally been outed. <laughs> we finally caught you. Yeah, yeah. I knew there was something 168 episodes ago, Briar. I'm going to. For episode 170, I was planning on wearing my Grand Master cloak, <laughs> my Grand Wizard cloak. But since they're not going to be 170 70, 70, <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Just celebrate One everybody. One sip. <laughs> let, me, let me paraphrase for him. Since there won't be 170 episodes, he doesn't have to wear his yeah, brand everybody drinks when someone says something uh, that doesn't make sense. Can, uh, we, can we talk to the chat for this episode, too? Yeah, please. It's, right? I think Absolutely. it's very important. I think it's the last episode. Oh, no, no rules here. We can talk to the chat. We can invite them into the show. Uh, I saw Inner Black Ninja in previous host of the show. I miss you, buddy. How are you Good doing? Good to see you. Yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> Episode uh, 170, everyone should do a line of Coke. <laughs> no thanks, guys. I still have success in my future. Ooh, I, stick around I can't even talk after, after a half a beer. <laughs> I'm, drinking, I'm drinking shots of Fireball. Just shots. All right, so this is the final episode of the Beastly Thought Show. And we wanted to set it off. You know, we wanted to do a final episode. We wanted to... You know, basically make it a celebration of the times past. We did 168 episodes, right? This is 169. Mm -hmm. Good That's number. A, uh, I don't know. I don't. This is 170, isn't it? That. This is 170. We previously did 169. I could have yeah, swore we'll we it. didn't do a show last week, so that makes this 169. Go on then. It's a show. We'll say it's 69. What the hell? Yeah, it's going to end at 169, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. That's a good fucking Whether number. I have to delete the first podcast and go through and renumber every fucking one up till here or not. That's right. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's been a good run. I feel like I've really gotten to know you guys very well over the last... It's almost been four years of doing this podcast. Yeah. Long time. Yeah, it has a lot of changes. Uh, me and Beastly started... Well, Beastly started it with episode one. And, and the guy, believe it or not, the guy who did episode one with me, Mr. Junior, Lewis Lyles, was here at my house today. I haven't seen him in a year. No shit. And uh, he, I swear, he texted me last night, asked me, was I working today? He wanted to come over and hang out. I told him to be here before five. He came in around two with his daughter. His daughter was hanging out with my kids. And he sat in my studio and played VR for the very first time. And that's the gift that keeps on giving. Have you ever seen someone who's never played VR before play VR? And that kind of euphoric, that, that moment where their mind opens up to what's really happening around them. It's I got to witness moment. that. Yeah, I told him watching his reaction is better than watching the game. But that was the guy who started the show with me. And it was kind of a, a very uplifting moment for me because I knew that he was here at the very beginning. And he came at this, the same day that the show ended. And to me, that was kind of was there, a magical moment. Can I ask you about like the, the beginning? Because I came in. Later, right? I came in. Was it episode two or episode three? <laughs> episode two. Episode two. Was yeah. there ever supposed to be an episode two? Was it meant to be a podcast? Was it meant to be like what it was wasn't. your original goal for Beastly Thoughts? Well, when I first started my YouTube channel, I was trying everything, and, and I was very excited about you know the prospect of being a YouTuber. And I didn't know really what a podcast was at the time. I didn't mm -hmm. really listen to many of them, and I just wanted. to I have a lot of friends. 
Uh, you know some of my friends. You guys do, too. Uh, and they all play video games. And I was thinking of getting together with just my friends, my inner circle, my brothers, and the guys I grew up with, and talking about video games and, and calling it Beastly Thoughts. And I sat in my bathroom, and I made an intro video about Beastly in Thoughts. In the bathroom? Hold yeah, on. In Amazing. front of the shower. I was next there. level selfie shit going on yeah, over there. Yeah, this is real <laughs> shit. And, and, and it, I made the intro after we already recorded it. And it was just the day that I brought my friend over and I let him see the PS4 for the very first time. It was a new console. And he was like, wow, the controller feels good. And we were just talking shit. And, you know, I was really excited about it. And Briar saw that shitty episode. This is how I know I met Briar through a crisis in his life. He saw, like, the, more, the most <laughs> dis the, just a disturbing episode of two guys sitting on the couch Looking at a, looking through a potato of a camera, talking about a video game console and not really being exciting or anything. And Briar sent me a message and said, "Hey, can I be on one of those?" And I was like, "This is the guy who I've been following forever from Call of Duty, Helm to the motherfucking yes." And that's how it started. And it's just been an uh, amazing ride. It's been a roller coaster ride, um, and it's been one of the greatest things I've ever done. I, I really appreciate this show. I, I appreciate everyone who supported us through it. I appreciate all the friends I've made through this show. Inner Black Ninja is a, a great friend, friend of this show. He was a, a host for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Not Too Nerdy Entertainment. Yep, uh, yeah, you know, shout out to, to the original guys who came here and, and, and Cod Made Player. Everybody who was a part of this show at the very beginning and, of course, all the way through the end now. Uh, I, it's a bittersweet thing. But, you know, every all good things come to an end. And, and it's definitely not the end of what we do. It's not the end of us individually. It's not the end of our friendship. And uh, we will definitely go on to do other things in the future. But as of right now, a lot of people are asking in the comments why uh, priorities are happening, guys. A lot of things are going on with me personally. And, and, and everybody who's doing this show has a lot of things going on in life. And so we've all collectively decided to move on to other things right now. But it's it's been a great ride. Oh, I want to tell, tell my Go story. I want to tell my story. OK, before you wrap the show up. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, yeah, let's just coming out, guys. Just thanks for coming out. So I remember. Uh, I, I do you remember how many subscribers I had when you? You when had I about thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. I thought it was less than that, actually. It, it might. It might have been. It might have been closer to three thousand. So I, mm -hmm. I remember I was a small YouTuber, and I remember uh, like you had left a couple of comments on videos, and I recognized the name, and uh, so I. When you have very few viewers, like you have like three comments per video, you find out who these people are. And yeah. I, I had clicked on your name and gone to see your YouTube channel. And I remember watching, I think it was just called Beastly Thoughts, right? There's no live, there's no podcast. It's just called Beastly Thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I watched that. And I'm like, I like this guy. He's funny and he's knowledgeable about video games. And uh, so I watched more shit on your channel. And I use shit as just more stuff on your channel. <laughs> sure, man. Yeah, go in a lot of different ways. I, and I remember thinking, I like this guy. I want to talk to him. So I, I, I can't remember. How did I contact you? I think it was YouTube comments, right? Or YouTube, yeah, you, you, YouTube you, you, messaging. Yeah. Oh, that's old school. Wow. Yeah, yeah. No one well, uses YouTube messages anymore. Well, it's know. been a while, Rob. It's been a minute since we started this show. <laughs> it has. Yeah. Long time. So I remember contacted you, and I, I think we ended up, I don't know, like we, we went back and forth through comments. You were into the idea about doing a, like a thing together, right? Yeah. And then, so we planned the first episode, and you bailed. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember yeah, talking I to my wife. I had stage fright, brother. I was afraid. I remember <sighs> talking to my wife. I'm sure. like, damn it. I really wanted to do a thing with this guy, Beastly. And he bailed, so I figured, well, it's probably <laughs> over. It's probably over. We're never going to do it. That's the end. And as you can see, we should have not ever done it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Briar. Absolutely. All right, everybody drink again. Um, but we did it. I remember the first episode we did, I think we, we decided to just do one thing, right? It was just Beastly Thoughts. It would just be us talking, the two of us. And we recorded it. We had a Skype call set up on on Xbox. Xbox, one. and I recorded it on an Elgato, and that was it. It was just a conversation, half hour, half hour. Yeah, and uh, thirty minutes. It was never really an hour until later on. Yeah, after the call, I think we immediately decided we wanted to do this once a week, right? Mm-hmm. Immediately. Immediately. After the very first episode, yeah. 
And then we started talking, okay, let's get other people in this. Let's make a podcast out of this. Let's make a, you know, eventually we started doing it live. And, but it was just like that first conversation on Xbox Live. <laughs> I mean, what a way. The, yeah. the similarities between this story and the script of Brokeback Mountain are astounding. You know, very, very similar. It's like beat for beat. At what just, point did BC invite location. you into the into the tent? the tent? Did it happen before or after the podcast? I left the butt stuff out of it, but maybe in the after you show we know. can talk about that. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. And then Robbie joined us. Was it episode 35? No, I think 20, it was 22. 22. 22. Around six months. Maybe not even quite six months after you guys had started. Yeah, because no, I was... Episode 22 was your very first episode, Robbie. Wow. Yeah, I remember I was a fan of the show. I'd been watching you guys. I knew about you guys and... Beastly, you remember we met in a Call of Duty Ghost match. I uh, was... and, and I'll let you know, guys. Invite me in your friends list because you never know what can happen. I was playing Call of Duty Ghosts, and I hear this twelve-year-old talking in the background, oh, and he was like, sakes. "Are you the beast? Are you the Beastly gamer?" I was like, "Yeah, kid." My voice was really squeaky back then. Yeah. You mean the one with Briar Rabbit? I was like, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah, we fuck around." Like, really, I love to meet those guys, man. I was like, "All right." And then we invited him to be on the show. Everybody hated Robbie in the first episode. Uh, us, can I say something? I'll admit, I used to be terrible. I watch myself back now. Like, I just, oh, God, I was so cringy. Different person nowadays. Everybody like, learns, completely. Robbie. Yeah. You, were, you ended up being great and, and very, very important to the show. And we love you, man. Oh, very, very you happy too. that you came, man. Cheers. I like, I respect a man who drinks beer out of a can. Yeah. <laughs> Still, is that a moose head? This way. Is that a moose head beer? Oh, yeah. This is a moose head beer. The most Canadian That is the beer most fucking Canadian is. thing yeah. I've ever it seen is. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> that was the purpose. You know what's funny, too? I don't even know who bought this beer. It was kind of just in our fridge one day. I'm like, hey, I'll try it. That's how so I drink really? beer, too. If you leave beer in my fridge, I'm drinking it. Like, I'm not <laughs> saving that for the next I'll time drink you come over. You, yeah. That's now my beer. <laughs> yeah. This is why you don't have kids, man. Just I have jack kids. your beer. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I got you. Well, I'm sorry, what? You know, growing up in my house, my dad, he would drink, it would take him a week to drink a six pack. And so he had to be very strategic about stealing his beer mm -hmm. because if, you know, he'd know you have one beer a day. And so it's a big fucking deal if you got two beers left <laughs> and you look in the refrigerator and they're both gone. And you know, <laughs> you know, hell, damn man? well you didn't drink it. We thought and, it, and so we had it figured out when we were kids. We would go raid the liquor cabinet. And what we would do is we'd pour liquor into like a sports bottle right like a like a water mm -hmm. bottle and you pour a little bit out from every bottle but then so you don't get caught you put a little bit of water into every bottle that you took something you out guys were conniving so you have you have this sports bottle filled with like eight different kinds of alcohol right and you've added water to all the alcohol that's left now if you do that six or seven times you start <laughs> thinking to yourself man i'm really building up a tolerance here because I drank just as much alcohol as I drank last time, but I'm not nearly as drunk. Yeah. Because we didn't realize that, You're drinking that the only people drinking that shitty fucking alcohol in the liquor cabinet was us. Oh, my God. And we're just filling it up with water. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. Wow. So by the time we finished those bottles off, well, we never finished them because there's it, basically like 90% water in those things. <laughs> <laughs> I love the thought that goes into that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Narcus, uh, this is the last episode of Beastly Thoughts. I know it seems surreal, and it's very hard for people to believe it. Uh, but you guys can always go back through the catalog and listen every Sunday at 6. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's the last one. Uh, we're, we're moving on to do other things. My wife went to the hospital, to the doctor Friday. You know, there's a lot going on with me at work. There's a lot on my shoulders right now, especially with my wife. I'm going on vacation in a week. There's just a lot of things going on. Yeah. And uh, we decided to pull the plug on the show while it's at the top. You know, the Beastly Thoughts Live is at the top uh, as far as podcasts go. Pulling our ego want, a little bit, don't you we think? Want, we, we want it to go out Leave you know, like Floyd Mayweather. Leave them asking for more. That's what they say. Yeah. Somebody said that anyway. We want to go out like anyway. Floyd Mayweather. And when Conor McGregor comes around, then we'll come back out and, and do another episode. That's it. Fair enough. Yeah, sure. Gary, would you like to elaborate with some of our viewers on what got you involved with the Beastly Thoughts show? Um, yeah, Dumb, I think it was just bad luck. scraping the barrel. I mean, ultimately, you guys had asked enough people who said no, and I was the only one dumb enough to, to say yes. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, no, I mean, 
and eventually I mean, uh, just destroyed the show. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this show is falling apart. Yeah. I actually, M. Costa had a great one in there. He's he's calling me the Yoko Ono of uh, of Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking great. I did. So Who, like who's Lennon, Briar? <laughs> no, no, no. You're you're definitely Lennon. Me and you be getting spoony. I can hardly express. I'll take I it. I just want you to sing Imagine All the People and I can stand silently behind you, just staring into the camera. Um, no, my involvement, I guess, came from being a long-time fan. I had no intentions or aspirations to be on the show. It was just in chat uh, every week, came and hang out. Found the show through Briar's uh, Twitch. There was a Destiny fan, obviously Destiny addict in the time. And just really liked the humour of the show, really liked the community that we had. And it wasn't just the guys in the show. It was the banter with the other guys in the chat. Um, you know, this is this is a great, lively community, and the jokes uh, are sometimes you know started in chat and then picked up in the in the show. It's not always reactive, and yeah, that that for me was um, when you guys, I think Robbie, um, reached out and said, "Hey, do you wanna do you wanna come on the show?" I was like, "You know, you sure?" Like I've never done broadcast. We before. were really like, "Yes, absolutely. We think you would be and, great." Um, I remember you guys thinking that I was going to come on with a. A laptop and sort of McDonald's Wi-Fi and it, and it shouldn't be. You're just I was like, worried about you know the uh, Happy Meal toy. Well, I had talked but... to you on Skype before. Yeah. Because remember we had that conversation on VR because you were talking. Yeah. You're you're basically this was the initial like Gary sells Briar shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, I remember. Gary this was greatly. in chat talking about VR and I'm like basically learning about VR as I'm live streaming and reading chat. And finally, I'm just like, Gary, can we meet up in Skype <laughs> so we can just talk about this shit? And we did, and you know, Gary was Gary, so we we already knew that he, had, you know, he, who he was. Well, let me just say this about Gary and and put my two cents in. Never has there ever been a, a host on this show, co-host on this show, who came in the doors prepared as Gary. Yeah, uh, I, there yeah. has there hasn't been one who's come in the door, had all the equipment he needed, had all the 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 pre thought out plans and, and ideas for the show he added so much to the show in an incredibly short period of time right so and much fucking, vita talk gary so much. i fucking <laughs> love you <laughs> so much vita. i uh, wish i'd been there from the from the start though i mean like i said you guys you guys had carried the torch for years and you know for me to take any credit for what the show is 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 you know i think it's diminishing what you guys had because you know the only reason i found it was because you already had an established brand and an established show um and, and an established community so yeah, more power to you guys. It's like Briar and myself were somewhere smoking crack, and you came along and you had a, a nice van for us to smoke it in. So you added the structure. <laughs> he had the and, and there was a wizard painted on the side, some naked, la naked ladies. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, a couple was, nudie magazines. It was a class act van too. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. Shag really carpeting a lot of the whole inside of it. She had the coat too, and he pulled <laughs> yeah. it open. He's like, check out what I got, you know? <laughs> you want some stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I did bring a crack van to the podcast. I'm going to keep that one. Thank you for that, Carol. You changed you changed us one way or another. With that, yeah, I mean, I, I started watching the show, like, way, way back. Like, you know, I remember your, your veteran shows. It was almost like a round table. We had about seven hosts at one point, I'm sure. Oh, it was we like did, a, we a had uh, Connie, remember Connie? Connie she was on for a little bit. Uh, she's become quite the cosplayer. If you guys follow her on Twitter, yes. she's often dressing up in very metal cool, gear. yeah, Metal Gear outfits. That's awesome. And, yeah, I mean, professional photos, really cool stuff. Inner Black Ninja, who's in the chat right now, absolutely love that guy. He's got his own podcast now, the Dojo Podcast, which mm -hmm. I think they just did an episode a couple of days ago. I think I saw that pop up on my YouTube. Uh, uh, not too nerdy, uh, who absolutely probably almost bankrupted me when he was he'd come on the show and he'd start talking about all the cool shit he found at yard sales, like all the SNES games and PlayStation. Oh, I know. Like his yeah. picks of the week were ridiculous, and every time I'm like, man, I want to start collecting old video games. Yeah, it was very frustrating. Videos. Very. He still <laughs> does it on his other YouTube channel, Not Too Nerdy Retro, where yeah. he goes out to yard sales and he gets these incredible uh, hauls. And he'll spend like fifteen dollars and come back with like a thousand dollars worth of retro gaming, yes, amazing games that you like could every probably. Week too. It was yeah, crazy. He's, he's a great guy, a huge part of the show. Another person who uh, did the show with us was Digital Boundaries, Fig Coink. Yeah, Fig and, is uh, he, one of the smartest people 
about gaming that I've ever met. Incredibly hard to lock him down to do a podcast. Though. <laughs> Incredibly yeah, hard. Yeah, we found that out. Yeah, but man, I absolutely, every conversation we ever with, with uh, Fig, it was like, he'd, he'd start talking about something that I just never fucking thought of before. You know, like he was absolutely one of the smartest guys I've ever had. We never we didn't have him on as a regular guest. Yeah, absolutely. He was like only there. on twice. Yeah, he's, he, was he was on the show twice. Very nice guy, though. Yeah, he was great. And, and another person who was a part of the show was Cod Made Player, uh, who still does YouTube and plays uh, CSGO. He's a big Counter Strike player and he loves that game and he has lots of followers. He was uh, instrumental in the beginning of this show as well. He was probably on for about 20 episodes, 20 to 30 episodes before he moved on to other things. But all these people are played an instrumental role in getting us to where we are today and uh, helping us hone our skills. You know, now doing this show or talking out in public or doing a podcast seems second nature because we've done it so much and we've had myriad personalities to talk to. And it always benefits us to have these uh, unique personalities come in and, and share their thoughts or, or kind of open up your eyes in a different direction. Kind of the way that you said that uh, Fig did, Briar, or the way that Gary does, or the, the way that Robbie does. Everybody has a differing opinion, and it kind of gives you a, a new view of gaming or the world, depending on what you're talking about. And I think that that's benefited us greatly on this show. One of the things I've learned over the years of doing Beastly Thoughts is, you know, the conversation and the the topics that we bring to the table aren't necessarily what's going to be the best part of the show, right? It's the it's the it's the conversation, right? It's where the conversation brings us. We can start talking about Fallout, but we end up talking about, you know, who knows what by the end of the conversation. But that's also been what's been so fun about it because I've gotten I've gotten to learn a lot about Robbie. I've gotten to learn a lot about Beastly. All, like all three of you guys, it's been really fun over the years learning about you guys and like just just being a part of this and learning how to podcast. Really, this is this is. This was my learning experience in how to podcast. And I used this knowledge when I went over to the Destiny Community podcast or to Planet Destiny and then the Destiny Community yeah. podcast. You know, like very much because of Beastly Thoughts, that's where I got those opportunities, right? It's like I already knew how to podcast. So let's get Briar in to do the podcast. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, Beastly Thoughts is, it's not always been the most successful thing about, about my YouTube channel, but it's brought success to me through it, through the experiences and it's helped me on my path. And it's, I, I really value it for that. Absolutely, Briar. Uh, I think more so than anything, right? Uh, the friends that I've made through this show, viewers and co-hosts have been real meaningful friendships, not just, you know, they're tangible things to me, things I'll, I'll probably hold on to for the rest of my life. Knowing you guys, people I've never physically met and seen face to face in the real world, you guys are literally like my family, you know, yeah. and, and I, I think of you all that way. And I think that this is more so than anything for me, a life experience and, and, and what technology can bring to your life and, and talking to people through these these new technological means can do for your life. Because I, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a fucking introvert. I stay in this house. I don't fuck with my neighbors. If they ask for ketchup, I throw a knife at the door. And so... <laughs> Um, what a welcoming. Yeah. yeah, but talking to you guys and, and dealing with so many of the people in the comment section has really uh, benefited in my life and, and, and it's really helped me grow as a YouTuber, as, as a person who does a podcast. You know, this is something that I, going into it, I was very apprehensive about, you know, but after a while, you get used to having hundreds of people watch you talk. And uh, I think it's benefited us all greatly. LOL, why you mad, bro? Ask you, Robbie. Now that the show is finally coming to an end, are you going to start uploading to your YouTube channel? I gave him a winky face as a response. Oh. Leave it at that. Well, leave it there. Oh, that's awfully non-committal of you, Robbie. <laughs> non <-committal. laughs> hey, that's an answer. Right. He won't be uploading videos to YouTube. It will certainly be uploading videos to some Somewhere. sort of website online. That's all I can promise. Somewhere, something, face. somehow, Furries. there will be content from me. <laughs> leave it at that. Could that's go right. very wide. Um, I wanted to add in quickly and say... Yeah, Beastly, Briar, well said. I mean, I've definitely talked about it before. This show, in a way, has changed my life just because meeting you guys is like an amazing, amazing thing that, you know, I love both of you. I love all three of you guys and a lot of people in chat. There's amazing, amazing people I've met. And 
you meet people, you form these friendships, but then you just, it keeps going. You just meet more and more people and you find more communities and it's just been a wonderful experience. As someone who's gone through some pretty serious depression in my life, especially in my teenage years, this show has helped me uh, boost my confidence. It's really been something I put a lot of effort into and been me. I've been honest. I've been, we've tried to be genuine and, you know, have a good time. That's what this show is about, having a great time and being insightful and resourceful. So I really cannot thank everyone enough. Like, it's been a wonderful ride and this is an awesome way to end it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Robbie, I love you, brother. Robbie, I love, love you guys the fuck too. out of you, man. You almost made me cry. I'm trying to hold it back. I love you, man. You You're know, like my little brother. Looking from- at the future, one of the things I've I've wanted for a long time is for both Beastly and Robbie to stream. Oh, I want to get into it too. We were playing some PUBG the other night, Robbie, and I asked you to I had to tell you, you need to quiet down. You need to quiet down. <laughs> You need to stream, brother. You're just a constant. <laughs> I am. You're like I'm talking to die. I'm an entertainer. I know. You need to stream, brother. You got to get on that stream. You probably so. should, Robbie. You're, you're a hell of a personality, man. Yeah. Especially. <gasps> ah! Ooh, that's the fight. Wait a How dare you interrupt the final episode of Beastly Thoughts Live? The final <laughs> episode? How dare you? Whoa. I can't be trapped <laughs> by Briar. Can't get in here. I mean, am I the only one here trying to be a goddamn professional? This is yep. ridiculous. Fuck that. Fuck professionalism ridiculous. and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Thug life. Right. Goddamn uh, professional, Briar. Look at this behavior. The the best. <laughs> um, to quickly Tell address she's off the that, show. though. Hold on one second. To uh, quickly address that, though, about the streaming thing, I have wanted to get into it for a long time. For me, it's motivation. It's just because I have a lot of days sometimes where I'm feeling down or, you know, work and family and <laughs> stuff like that. It hasn't been as busy recently. You know, I work part-time, so I do have days off to do that. Sometimes my mind just gets in the way of things. That's what I struggle with. So, yeah. If you want to start streaming and, and you want to really figure it out, I'll do it with you because I need to learn, and Briar told me the same shit. I don't Doing know it together that's... would be amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's what she said. Oh, it's, oh uh, can I, I – I'm going to tell a story that I swear to God is, is relevant here. When I first Absolutely. started streaming – you know, I had dabbled in Twitch like a couple of times. I played uh, Trials and I played not Trials of Osiris, but Trials like the motorcycle game. I'd done like a couple of things, you know, just trying, trying Twitch out, just checking it out. And uh, my first real experience on Twitch was with Planet Destiny. Planet Destiny wanted to start their Twitch page up, so they asked a bunch of us to do it. And immediately there was like anywhere from three to seven hundred viewers. Like immediately and not knowing how to how to stream and how to talk and play video games at the same time i was super nervous so the first thing i did was i asked a friend to come and join me a fellow destiny player a fellow milky sirloin and it makes all the difference in the world because all of a sudden you don't have to be just like solo focused on chat you have somebody who you can do banter with and relax with and have some fun with it it makes all the difference in the world when you're starting up is to be able to play with somebody and i'd be happy to play with you guys anytime while you're getting going i'm gonna hold you to that briar yeah absolutely yeah yeah i'm Um, gonna hold you to that the thing is you can only play PUBG or destiny two that's it With you, I'm, yes. I'm down. I'm Which down. Not a problem, too. Absolutely. Come this September. Oh, I can't wait. I'm looking you for know, streaming partners to hit up some Vita games with me. Something current and you know on top of the directory. So hey, if I, anybody's I'll do it. I, I got a PS TV. Hey. I got a PS TV. Yeah, I'll do it with up, you, baby. Know? We'll Listen, have let's, three let's be serious here, guys. If there's any serious PS Vita content creators out there, <laughs> curious your man. I'll there, buy it. He sure is. I'll there is it. definitely a YouTube channel based off of you know beta content right like the number one source of beta news he shut the youtube channel down about three years ago but there's definitely a channel out there <laughs> i think you'll find there's actually a channel called vita boys and i'm a vita subscriber boys? <laughs> vita vita boys. Boys. Like nova boys but just far less viewers shout out yeah. to nova boys uh, look, look let's keep it real okay gary might be a little behind the times on the vita but i'm a little bit behind the times when it comes to playing on PC. And so I got to respect that, Gary. I love my Vita. You know, I got the early edition, so I had a lot of faith in it. 
But over time, that faith slightly dwindled. But I still enjoy the Vita. I still love the Vita. Uh, it's just nothing for it, you know, now. I literally play my PSP more than I play my Vita. I, you know, I would have more fun with my PSP than my Vita, totally honest. Because my Vita is hacked to fucking hell. <laughs> I have every console on my, my PSP. I can play the hell out of that thing. Really? You know what? Yeah, you my like PSP. NES games and stuff? I got a, oh, I can turn it on right now. I got a 64, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I got a, um, what is that? Uh, I got a Virtual Boy on my PSP. But do you have an SNES Mini pre-ordered? Fuck you, Gary. Right. This is the last how, how do you hang episode. up on somebody in Skype? <laughs> the real reason why this podcast is breaking up too? is I like got the pre-order that. and no yeah. one else did. That's it. Listen, <laughs> I called GameStop and uh, a lady answered you. Thanks for calling GameStop. This is Bethany. I said, hey, Bethany, I really need uh, the Super Nintendo Mini. Oh, sir, we don't have any information on that. I was like, really? They're not she available said, no, for pre-order yet in the States. We don't have any information on it. What the fuck are we supposed to do while Gary plays this Super Nintendo with Star Fox 2? What are we supposed was, to do? It was good, man. I think this I think we bullshit. need to plan a trip. We need to get do a road trip. You word. Well, sea beastly trip. Thought, gonna... Beastly Thoughts road trip. <laughs> we'll take the bridge. We'll head over the <laughs> pond. <laughs> like, and we're crashing on Gary's story. couch. Funny story. <laughs> I didn't even actually email me about the pre-order this week. Um, and I thought they were going to cancel it because there were some rumors about Amazon being mm -hmm. under allocation. Bitches dropped it by $15 price promise. What can I say? It's now $15 <laughs> cheaper. So Ooh. I don't know if that makes it any easier right, for I'm you. still but... looking for the hang up button on Skype. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. To really use it right now. You know, Beastly, you were right in the end. We never should have invited Gary. This guy is a fucking <laughs> asshole. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to change my mind. I'm letting it all hang out. This is the last episode. God damn it. <laughs> Let all airs be, yes, be aired. Yeah. All dirty laundry. Robbie, grab the dirty laundry. Let's pull it out. I'm, I'm halfway <laughs> deep in my pink <laughs> wine. I don't give a fuck anymore. That's it. <laughs> I want there to be not a lick of class in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm black. I got to shake my head back and forth. This is a bullshit. Why, why start that now? I, we haven't even made a dick joke yet. Yeah, this is <laughs> quality content. We're never going to change from this. What people Gary love. looks so sophisticated with that red glass quality. of Siphondel. Look at Sophisticated is definitely not the word. Homosexual <laughs> is definitely the right word for that one. I'm wearing a vest, drinking pink wine. I'll put my pinky out for you. I fucking love you, Gary. <laughs> just, just, you know. Oh my god, this is I'm the camping shit. it up. Well, the thing is, basically, I know that you're always drinking that pink Moscato feminine shit. So I thought I'd out camp you up just so you could have one podcast of masculinity. So you this is right. me going yeah, all that yeah. peacocking for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well done, I'll take Gary. That. Take I'll take that, Gary. Boys. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Look it out for me, man. Good luck, man. I'm drinking a brown drink. It being a gaming podcast, have we actually anyone been playing games this week? Has anyone played anything? I've been playing VR, Gary. I'll make you and yeah, Briar proud. I started playing VR like? yesterday, okay? The uh -huh. PlayStation mid-year sale is out. I bought like 10 games on there. And uh, there's a game out called um, Primal Carnage, Ooh, which is it's a 5v5 game. There's five humans and five dinosaurs. And you the humans got to team up to take out one dinosaur, but it's a huge map, right? And I didn't I had no idea what this game was about, but it's normally like is 30 bucks. Is it a VR game? Have, no, it's a regular oh. PS PlayStation oh, right. game. And, uh, wow, you totally wife, switched it up on me. I know, it's a so fucking well, I've been playing a VR game. game. I, Primal Carnage. Of VR, Wait, this is a VR Primal game? Carnage. No. I've got it <laughs> Basically, man, you just straight up honey dick the entire podcast. You just set up the entire podcast. <laughs> 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 a VR. Man. Start over, okay? Drink so, some honey dick. I've been playing a ton of VR games, right? But one game that I haven't been playing this VR is a game called Primal Carnage. I'm not Buy it, guys. One game that I haven't been playing that's VR. Yeah, it's Primal Carnage, and it's awesome. You just said it's, that you haven't been playing it, and it's VR. What? No, one game that I haven't <laughs> been playing that's VR is... Oh, maybe I did say it wrong. I'm one sorry, game what? that I've been playing wrong. that is not VR. <laughs> God damn it. Chap, really can you make sense of this? Because I'm confused. We <laughs> wonder why the show's ending, to be honest. The, the question's in chat. Why is this shit ending? <laughs> well, the proof is right here. Everyone's yeah, confused. Look, no point look right up there. That right up there. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Primal, Primal Carnage is really a lot of fun, guys. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of teamwork. All these human players have different abilities. And you're fighting these giant, like there's a T-Rex. There's a whole bunch of, you can be a small, like, raptor. A whole bunch of crazy shit, and you guys will love it. But I've been playing Resident Evil uh, 7. 
I've been playing Thumper VR, which is really incredible, oh, guys. That game is really insane. I fucking love that game. Yeah, it's that one game of is my insane. best VR experiences. Uh, I've been checking out some of the new free stuff on PlayStation Have you VR, out the Super new Spider Man. No, it's not out yet. Oh, it's not out yet? Oh, okay. I thought it came out. Oh, okay. oh. Trust me, when that comes, I'm definitely getting it because it's been uh, recommended by my good friend who used to podcast with me, Briar Rabbit. <laughs> That game cool. is, without a doubt, the best VR experience I've ever had. Like, it's just insane. Uh, Gary has Gary has a few things to say about that. Gary, it's not the same as the PC version. What, because, uh, no, no, no uh, uh, super, super hot. hot, super hot. No, um, well, PC version. If you've got, uh, you know, one of the headsets with 360 tracking, you can move yeah. around within your space, which I don't think you could do on the PlayStation version. So you can't duck in and out of cover as effectively. You, know, you can move up and down on a spot. But it really, you know, breaks sure? some of the immersion that you've got. Oh, yeah, because you can't. Good. Because on PSVR, you certainly can in a lot of games. Uh, I was playing um, London Heist today, and there's a section in that game where you're just ducking under tables and trying to yeah. avoid being shot. The and you problem really is can. when you spin when you spin round, you lose the tracking from the camera because it can't go through your body. So then you rely on the gyroscopic tracking from the controllers, which is awful. You know, the PS Move controllers, 360 Most gyroscopic. Of- most of that Shit. game, though, is centered around 180 degrees. Okay, so it's only half. I don't know. I, I found that a lot of the stuff, some of the earlier levels were, but a lot of the time you've got to grab something and someone will be running around to, like, yeah, your 270 right, actually, or 280. Yeah. I wonder how they'll handle lot- that. It might be a little janky, but I bet it's still going to be fun as shit. Oh, I'm That'd definitely going to get it, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have a, a gaming PC strong enough to handle VR. But you're planning <laughs> on getting one, aren't you? Yes, I am, Briar. I swear I am. You have my word. Everybody watching this show has I, my word. You don't word. have to promise me. I mean, Gary might hold you that promise, but... Fuck I Gary! Was, I was just asking you the question. He fucked this show up! <laughs> <laughs> the Gary, what do you have to say for yourself? <sighs> we just All joking have... aside, guys, there's, there's no hidden joke there. Gary is fucking awesome. And this is our last episode, so we're having a lot of fun. Um... Yeah, I I will be getting me a gaming PC. I'm still trying to allocate funds for it and see exactly where that needs to go and and how much I need to set aside for something that's good enough to play the latest games and play VR. And then I've got to put more money aside, what, $600 for another VR headset? Yeah. Yeah, you can get an Oculus for $600, I think. With the touch. With the touch. And you can sell your PlayStation. I'm not doing that, Gary. Why? You'll never touch the thing again. Trust me. I sold one. Obviously. You don't Listen, can confirm you won't ever touch a thing again. Absolutely. <laughs> Although, Resident Evil, not available. It's a 12-month exclusive, so if you really want to play it, you've got, what, January? You can play it again? Yeah. It's still yeah. fucking unbelievable on the, the PlayStation VR, man. That yeah, well, experience it, is really amazing. Have you played it on PSVR? Yeah. Are you telling had, me you didn't think that was incredible? I thought it looked like I was playing a game with Vaseline on my eyes. I just I That's can't do the resolution bullshit, on it. That's some bullshit, son. I, I can't do it. The I, resolution. I, I don't agree with you, Gary. I mean, yeah, the resolution is definitely less than on the Oculus or the the Rift. Rift, yeah. But it was still an outstanding experience. Yeah. I know, for me, I enjoyed VR when I first got it because the PlayStation was the thing I had first. So October, yeah. bought the PlayStation, loved it, really enjoyed the games. Then as soon as I got the Rift uh, and had a sample of that, yeah. immediately couldn't go back you know i started going back having a look at things and i told you that that i tried fated that that viking game on both platforms and several times tried it every time motion sick on the playstation so it it might be the resolution i was playing drive club a couple of weeks ago i I was not having that problem at all and drive club is actually known to make people a little motion sick my son played that today and loved it I think it's case by case because myself as well, like I'm super, super sensitive to frame rates. Like I play everything at 144 yeah. hertz now. So yeah. when I see things at 60 frames per second, fully to me, to the master let me just say um, this. Let me say this in words. Looks garbage to me at the moment. Me, it's just. Let me say this in words that Gary will understand. It sounds like you're a fucking PC elitist, mate. Dude, he's sitting there <laughs> with his pinky out, drinking his fucking rose, wearing his fucking vest. All he needs is a top hat, really, and he's just the <laughs> ultimate PC elitist. Fucking this vest, yeah. that vest, this vest I'll have you know, this is this is you know, I, I found this in a, in a in a very very decent establishment in, in London. The guy was... You can say hot topic. We know what hot topic is. 
<laughs> yeah, what kind of fuck is this for you? <laughs> we have those here too. Okay. I'm, I'm kidding. It was it was in my wife's wardrobe. It, I just took it out. Oh my! It, 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 it was man. Both. You're a fool, man. Now all you gotta do is say it's an NWA vest. I mean, nobody's reading the letters. It does look like NWA. It actually it says I think it's like Love Life. I think it's like a Wham vest. It I'm looks not like sure a nigga with attitude. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely NWA. Yeah, good shit. Tiddly piss flaps oh. in chat. He just talked about that new PS5 rumor. Have you that guys heard that? That's the best name I've ever heard. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Have you guys heard about this new PS5 rumor? No. No. Yeah, it's some bullshit, man. Some absolute it's bullshit. Gonna, okay, so the rumor is, and this comes from Michael Pactor, but I think it's a misquote from my, Michael Pactor because I read his He's actual wrong quote. wrong quite a lot, but we'll no see. No fucking way. Well, Robbie, you didn't even let me finish my sentence. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want to put that in. He's often wrong. But because again. I think it's a misquote from him. Okay. <laughs> Because he was talking about PS5. He was talking about four, PS5 running 4K. And he was also talking about 240 hertz. Mm -hmm. But there's no fucking way that the PlayStation 5 is going to release... That Sony would release a console that targets 240 hertz. Boy. It's not even a reasonable fucking thing. Because no TV. You do see TVs that are advertised at 240 hertz. Yeah. But they can't take that input. Like It's not like a monitor... HDMI does not accept that as an input. It's not a transferable thing. The 240 hertz is a way of tricking the panel in your eyes into not seeing motion blur. It's not like on a PC monitor where you see 144 hertz or, or uh, you know, uh, give me another hertz. 120? 160? Sure, 60 hertz, 144, 280, whatever. When they talk about the hertz on a monitor, they're talking about they're what that. the video card can actually send to it and what, how quick your frame rate is actually going to update right. and sync between the video card and the display. When they talk mm -hmm. about it on a TV, they're just talking about re repeating images and updating the display to reduce motion blur. So TVs don't actually can't accept a 240 hertz input. They're just updating at that refresh to re rate to reduce motion blur. HDMI is not capable of running 4K at anything over 30. No, it's, it's 60. It's 60 it's now, 60. but the last, yeah. I think 1. 60, point, HDMI 1.4 is 60. HDMI 1.3 was 30. Something like that, because the yeah. PlayStation 4 Pro can obviously do 4K 60. And that's it using can do HDMI, 4K so. 60, but a lot of monitors can't. Yeah. Like, even new monitors, new expensive monitors can't do it over HDMI because they don't have the newest HDMI standard. I know this because I've been shopping for monitors. It sounds <laughs> like you have, bro. Yeah. It sounds like it, brother. Really. Although, talking about um, refresh rates and shit, have you guys tried out the new iPad Pro, 120 hertz iPad Pro? I have tried it oh. out. I actually got a new iPad today. Man, it's tight. <laughs> Back on Apple again. It's oh, tight. Oh, no, Briar. What's good about that is that the average consumer is going to start trying this and going, this, this shit's smooth. Like, this is good. This is better. Yeah. You know? So if the iPhone 8 comes out with the 120 hertz adaptive display, I think maybe then the people are going to start demanding frame rate in the market rather wow. than accepting 30 FPS as the most That'd your eye awesome. can see. Well, is that the, the one you got, bro? No, I did not. I, I got the, the one that they were giving away basically for free at AT&T when my mother upgraded her iPhone. And she's oh. like, I don't use an iPad. I'll just give you this one. Nice. <laughs> wow. I love mom. I love mom. Thanks, yeah, mom. No, the, the 120, if, you, if anyone can get into an Apple store and have a look at the new iPad yeah. Pro and, and hold your phone up and look at the difference, it's astounding. And that's why, like, again, master race myself. Yeah, when you scroll, plus. just like a simple thing, like scrolling the icons over to the next page, like just flipping it across, really? it's smooth. It doesn't. It doesn't chop. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been experimenting with monitors because, you know, I, I know that Destiny 2 is coming out. Destiny 2 on PC is coming out. And I've been playing with how am I going to record Destiny 2? At what resolution am I going to record and broadcast Destiny 2? You know, I've got I've got multiple. I've got multiple monitors coming in and out of this house right now. 1080. 144, 1080, 280 hertz. 280 wow. hertz. That's pretty uh, high. I had a 
earlier, I think a couple of weeks ago, I had a 1440p 144 hertz monitor in here. Very soon, I've got a 60... I've got a 4K 60 hertz monitor coming in with IPS. There's all this... There's Without a doubt, when you're gaming, frame rate is king. Yeah. Agreed. 4K is beautiful, especially in screenshots. But when you're actually gaming, nothing is better. The higher the frame rate your display will go, the better that image looks to the eye. It's not as high resolution, right? It's you. You can't see. You can't see the detail of like the the veins in the grass as well as you can on a 4K. But it's just smoother and it feels better. Like there's no comparison to a high refresh rate. So. PlayStation and Xbox, too, are both doing this, is they're coming out with new consoles. PlayStation's already got their console out, and they're targeting 4K because that's the big buzzword. Everybody's buying 4K TVs. They don't have any content to go with their 4K TVs, but they're fucking up. They need to be targeting 60 frames per second, and I would love to see a pro console and a, and a, a, a console targeted at gamers, hardcore gamers, have display ports that support... Wow. I'll completely agree. Yeah. Because I would love to see, you know, the Xbox One X. Okay, you can play on 4K if you got a 4K TV in your living room. Use HDMI, plug it in, you're you're good to go. But you know, if you are way into competitive shooters, maybe you really like uh Call of Duty or you really like Destiny and you really want to get into the competitive side of it, use the display port that we also included because this is for hardcore gamers. And run this shit at 120 hertz. Yeah. I mean, that's smart. The FreeSync thing's really smart as well. Because FreeSync monitors are cheap as shit. Yeah. You can get a FreeSync monitor for... It's $200 extra to get a G-Sync. But FreeSync is basically the standard. And you can... You can plug it in with a display port. And they could run Call of Duty at 720p. And everybody who thinks they're... Everybody who wants to be competitive will be playing at that resolution at the higher refresh rate. And frankly, anybody who tries it will probably switch to it too because Mm. it's just better. It's better. The the consoles right now, it's like the megapixel wars that camera phones were going through where they just kept saying, we got more megapixels than Samsung. Samsung said, we got more megapixels than Apple. But the megapixels never really made as much a difference as the glass and the software that did the actual rendering of that image. Right. It was just a it was a false stat. And that's what 4K is. It's a false stat. What really makes a big difference, and what's really disappointing to me as a Destiny player right now, is that Destiny wasn't able to get 60 frames per second for Destiny 2. Bungie wasn't able to get Destiny 2 to 60 frames per second. And that's why I'll really be switching to PC for PC. Destiny 2. Because it yeah. just is a better experience at a higher refresh rate. Yeah, I gotta agree. That motivates me to play Destiny 2 on PC as well. That's the thing, because we talk about frame rate, you know, everyone says it plays better. It really does just visually, it looks smoother too. Like, it makes it look better. It so, looks yeah, better. I agree. It plays better. It's easier to aim. Yeah. Like, yeah. like it, I've been playing PUBG a lot lately, and when I switch to, I have a 4K monitor right in front of me. When I switch to playing at 4K, I can play that game at 4K and keep a reasonably decent frame rate. It's not 60. It's reasonably decent. It's around 50. Okay. I can play the game at 4K. And it looks fantastic. It's very detailed. I can see I can see exactly what gun somebody's holding from 300 yards. Oh, wow. I mean, that's how detailed it is. Yeah. But I play better if I play on a high refresh rate monitor. Because aiming is easier. Everything is smoother. The, my ability to pan across a horizon, pan across a horizon, and identify somebody who's standing next to a rock is way easier at 120 FPS than it is at 60 frames per second. Yeah, I mean, forget gaming as well. Like, just on my desktop, I've got a three monitor setup, and I've got two 144 hertz monitors, one being 1440p and one 1080p, mm-hmm. and then I've got one 4K 60 hertz, and just moving windows around on my desktop and using my desktop if i scroll from the 144 hertz to the 60 hertz screen 
it looks like I'm looking at something in slow motion. So 60 frames per second wow. is, you know, inferior in every way to I 144 feel, hertz. I feel so and, out of touch. I've never even 60 seen 120. Per second is what we're asking the consoles to get to. And the PC <laughs> players, that's what's crazy, right? Is the PC players moved past 60 long ago. They're overclocking their displays mm -hmm. to get to 75 hertz to 80 hertz. And then Asus and Acer started catching up catch it on and saying okay we'll release displays that run at 144 hertz and then at 160 hertz and now all the way up to 280 hertz but the the consoles the P sony and xbox have not caught on to this they're targeting 4k but they're leaving frame rate behind yeah and that's not the right answer what they said yeah. the wrong move i understand the buzzword of 4k is sexy <clears throat> But it's a false buzzword. It's a false thing to be chasing. Chasing frame rate is much more important to a good gameplay experience. I'd rather play a 720p game that runs at 60 frames per second than a 4K game that runs at 30. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah totally. It's one of them things as well. Once well you've seen it, you can't go back. It's like seeing your first pair of titties on, like, you know, once you see them, you, you can't go back to just, like, you know, seeing them in magazines and stuff. You've got to see them in the flesh. And, from my perspective quite right, literally in the flesh yes bloodborne right bloodborne's a great example of this bloodborne's like the titties that i really want to see but the titties that i never will um <laughs> i've tried wow. playing bloodborne several times now because i played Dark Souls three and Ooh. loved it like really loved it i go back to bloodborne and maybe it's because i'm in the first zone and i've heard that it's worse than the first zone but you're down to like 20 frames for a long it's period of time tough, yeah. in that game even at 30, I was like, this is whole shit. I've been playing Dark Souls 3 on PC at like 120. Like, why am I why am I bothering? And you know, at 30, it's still whole shit. And then it drops to 20, and I'm like, fuck this game, I'm out. I just left. It doesn't matter how yeah. good the game is. If it's 20 frames per second and 30 frames per second, I'm not gonna play it. I don't care. I'll wait. Yeah. That's a really good point, Gary. You mind if I add something onto that real quick? Because I have incredible kind of... I mind like from the bottom of my fucking heart, I mind. Thanks, for it. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I so, could not mind thing... more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I, know I don't mind, really. Fooling around. Yeah. Um, for I don't me... mind. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> cool down, Briar. All right. So <laughs> Let the man drink his beer, Robbie. It's all, it's all drinky drink today, man. Drinky drink. Oh, lots of drinks. Um, for me, it's strange because on console, frame rate doesn't bother me as much as PC. Is this just me? Like... On PC, I have to have minimum 60 FPS. On console, 30, I can live with it. Whereas on PC, the guy can't stand it. Is me, that just me? It completely depends on the game. Okay. I agree with Gary. Bloodborne bothered me. And I remember talking about Bloodborne mm. when that game came out and being like, I love this game, and but the frame rate is fucking awful. Like, you, yeah. you, yeah. you could be running around at 30 frames per <laughs> second. All of a sudden, you run across this random fucking bridge and it drops to like 15 frames per second. And you're expected to fight somebody on that bridge at 15 yeah. frames per second. Like, it was bad. That game is fantastic, yeah. but it, the frame rate is fucking terrible. <laughs> I had to fight um, through that frame rate, man. That game was awesome. I had did to they ever it release great. It's a great game, PS4 but the frame rate is terrible. Uh, I no, know. they did not. They did not. And in fact, the with the PS4 Pro, like some games... With the PS4 Pro, they eventually released a patch that would help the frame rate out on games that didn't necessarily support it. Right. And that game stood out as one of the it games still that did didn't. not get helped out oh, by that Oh, that's patch. a bummer. That's right. why I really wanted yeah. to know if it improved was, or not. With hold on, hold on. I was actually looking for that game to see if it got the improvement, and then right. I found out. I was like, oh, my God. It was literally like it, it stood out as one of the exceptions to the mm. games that did not get a frame rate bump from that. Okay. From that. From software. From I was software. curious about that. But yeah, yeah okay. to me, not every game needs to run at 120, 160, even 60. Not every game needs to run at 60 frames per second. But first-person shooters <laughs> really benefit from it, man. It really benefit from it. And I... with Call of Duty, like we've been playing Call of Duty on Xbox 360 and PS3 at 60 frames per second forever. Right. And Doom looks fantastic, and that will run. That'll run on my refrigerator at 120 frames per second. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like, it's crazy. I remember there was a Luke Smith interview for Destiny 2 a month ago or so. 
and he said, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One X are not capable of running our game at 60 frames per second. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I like I, that one struck me as like the the biggest false statement I've ever heard. You designed the game. You knew what the hardware was. Like you can't you can't say the Xbox 360 or the I'm sorry, the Xbox One and the the PS4 can't run our game at 60. The real thing is you designed a game that can't run at 60 frames per second on the hardware it was designed to run on. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. But that's I mean you can't just blame Sony and and Microsoft. It's part of it is developers they want beautiful screenshots. When they put out screenshots More so than anything else, yeah. Look, I can go on Activision's website on their press website, download screenshots at 4K. At 8K, they're 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 handing out Destiny yeah. 2 screenshots at 8K right now. Right? <sighs> yep. They look great, but what I want is a high frame rate. Yep. And I, I think everybody's the PC gets it. The PC gets it, right? I've been playing Vanguard lately, and I'm running that super high frame rates, and it looks great. And you know what? I can't run it at Ultra on my 1080 to get super high frame rates. I gotta run it a little bit lower. Not every not every effect turned on. But it looks great and it runs smooth and I can yeah. easily I can be sliding around and rolling around and still aim and be tracking an enemy where at sixty frames per second I might lose sight of that enemy because he uh, I I think the people that say not every game needs to be at sixty as well haven't seen the game at sixty. So like well, The Witcher Three, for example, right? I know you're a Witcher Three fan. Have that you game. played that on the console? No. All right. So if you play it on the console at thirty, the combat feels like really janky. The game doesn't move as smoothly. You know, you don't have that same. You know, the the real world immersion is broken. As soon as you get it on PC and break the sixty frames barrier and take it up to like one ten, one twenty, the game is is astounding and something that I want to spend time in. Same with Uncharted. I've not really played Uncharted at any great lengths because of the frame rate issues there, and I know I'm missing out on games. Like to me, I'm. I know I'm missing out on great stories and great games simply because I'd rather enjoy the experience on uh, an alternative game than play a game that's got a good story but struggle through 30 frames. To to me, Destiny 1 was the first... Well, I bought a console for Destiny 1. I hadn't had a console. I'd been PC gamer for 10 years at that point there. Just hadn't Mm. had consoles. Wasn't interested in it. Didn't like what they did. Didn't like controllers. So much so I had to buy a Zim for it. Destiny I bought... we know. Um... Because I had friends that were playing it, and they were like, you got to play it. you got to play Destiny. And I was like, oh, fine, fine, fine. I'd convinced myself that 30 frames was all right by exclusively playing Destiny for, like, 18 months. As soon as I played something else, I couldn't play Destiny anymore. You know, it's, it's one of those things that I think when you've seen the alternative, you don't go back. Yeah, it, a perfect example of that, Gary, is The Last of Us, my favorite game of all time. Uh, I thought The Last of Us, when it came out on the PS3, was just groundbreaking. The way the game played, the way it felt, the way it moved, everything seemed to be perfect to me. As a console gamer, I wasn't really privy to the information or the experience of higher frame rates, especially back then with the PS3, 60 frames on games like that. So that's a good example, though, because you can play that game at 60 frames per second. Yes. That's the whole point. That's the point of what I'm saying. Uh, When it came out and they remastered it for the PS4 at at 60 frames, I can't play it on the PS3 anymore. I, I still have it. I, you know, I have the PS3 in my bedroom, and I'll turn it on, and as soon as the match starts and I start moving, I feel like something is broken, and I have to turn yeah. it off. Because once you experience that 60 frames per second, lot. And that's the thing. That's the baseline for PC gamers. That's the baseline. They yeah, won't go the below 60, below but they're shooting yeah. for much, much higher. They're mm-hmm. shooting for 144. They're shooting for 160. They're shooting for 180. Yeah. Fucking Tefty, Tefty recommended a monitor. Tefty I went out and got it. Two hundred eighty hertz. That's nuts. Yeah. Wow. But that monitor's hertz. that's an Overwatch and a Counter Strike monitor though, because you're not pushing two eighty on anything else except no, you have to, really you have basic to games. turn all the settings down, everything yeah. down to ultra low, and then you might have to turn it down to a four by three window. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, for, for Counter Strike Go players, 
uh, that's what they'll do because they want to be competitive. Their server tick rate is like what 250 hertz tick rate, I yeah. think. Uh, I don't crazy, know the exact right? number. It's super high yeah. though. Pretty it's high. Like, listening to you guys talk earlier, it kind of opened my eyes up to the world that I'm missing. It's like before a person actually experiences VR, no one on a podcast or on a video can explain to you what it is. It's you have similar. to. It's similar. You, You're right. You have to put it on in order to understand. Like my my friend who started Beastly Thoughts with me came over here today. He put on the VR. Before he put it on, he told me what he thought he saw on YouTube that looked like shit. He said he wasn't excited about it. I let nice. him play. I let, like him play I let him play Thumper. I let him play. I let him play Resident Evil. I let him play the uh, what is it? London Heist. Brer. He fucking shit his pants. He couldn't believe it. The immersion, right? And when I hear you guys talking about 160 frames per second, something that you guys have experienced and that you've seen, to me it blows my mind because I'm 60. It's the precipice for me as a console gamer. To me, my mind can't go past that. I've been and playing so, a lot of PUBG, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds lately, right? Mm -hmm. I'm very addicted mm -hmm. to the game. I've been playing at 60 hertz, 60 frames per second, because that's the that's the highest refresh rate I had available to me on a monitor on my desk. I started experiencing, I started going after higher refresh monitors. I brought home a Dell. Uh, 1440. It's like it, they call it 2K. 1440. Yeah, yeah. I am not shitting you. The first game I played on that Dell, I won. I had a chicken dinner. <laughs> that boy is bad. I, I am telling you, it's look. It's a coincidence. It's right? a big difference, right? Of course, it's yeah. a coincidence. But when you see those higher refresh rates. This all started because we started talking about the PS5 at 240 hertz, and it's a bullshit story. There's no that's way that's how a real thing. Yeah, is. I don't buy it either. That's but that's weird. It just like it. It's been bugging me, and we've been talking about this 4K thing for a while. And the fact that P, that console games are not targeting 60 frames per second at this point is really pissing me off. And it pisses me off because I'm a huge Destiny fan, and I was sure, I was positive. Yeah. That Bungie was going to target 60 frames per second for Destiny 2. I was right there with you. And yeah, the fact I that thought they so, didn't, too. Like, that's... I, mean, I, I was making plans for the next two years based on the fact that I thought <laughs> Destiny 2 would be 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, hand on heart, Brian. I know mean, a lot of content creators are doing the whole party political line to say, oh, I'm going to play all consoles. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to be on all platforms. Hand on heart, once they start getting onto the PC and the PC's released and you've got a community there, how many people are going to be regularly switching back from 120 <laughs> hertz to 30 frames per second? Once mm. the once the reviews are done on the PS4 exotics? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those have to be done, yeah. Yeah, those got to get done. I mean, mm. basically, I, I can speak I can speak to the dis behind the scenes talks we've had yeah. like for DCP who are all they're all just content creators for for Destiny. Behind the scenes, it's 50-50. Me and Tefty are like, yeah, I mean, PC. It's the way to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Patrick and Watts are like, well, you know, the PS4 is where I started. The PS4 community is the community that I've developed. I want to stay there. So it's like 50-50. Right. I just wonder how much of that community will stick around. I, I don't saying, think it matters. So it doesn't matter what the content creator is playing on. Right? Like yeah. if I if I'm streaming PS4 Destiny, an Xbox player is going to be like, well he's not playing an Xbox, so fuck this guy. You might be saying that if I'm Ouch. doing You might be saying that if I'm doing raid carries. He'd be like, "Well, do you ever do raid carries on Xbox because I'd like a raid carry. I'd like a chance to play with you." But if I'm just like dicking around playing playing Destiny and talking to the community, it's, doesn't really matter, but if I'm making YouTube videos, I got I got a 4K video capture card coming on the way. You know, like it's well, I mean, the entire PVP, the entire PVP community, from what I've seen, uh, observing the Switch directory, all of them are PC. You know, there's no one staying PS4. So you know, if you if you're into PVP on Destiny, then you know it seems like the PC is the place be a to lot be. Easier to find. Well, yeah. Got to piss. Oh, bye, Brian. <laughs> um, okay, I will so cook you add into this, I guess. Actually, no, go ahead, basically. I'm sorry. <laughs> Way you... to go out, Briar. Fucking let your dick hang. Anyway, look. 
uh, listening to you guys talk about you know PC gaming and, and higher resolutions and frame rates has me wondering what your thoughts are on the future of console gaming. The Xbox One X is touted to be the most powerful console of all time. We all know this. PS4 Pro is out. Gary, of course, we know you said it's a misstep. Is something like the Xbox One X attractive to you in the future? Do you think that people who play predominantly on PCs are going to overlook this thing and continue to go in that direction? Do you think that what people are getting from the PC ecosystem is just really outshining consoles, even new consoles, to the degree that's going to like hurt the sales of these, these future consoles? It's interesting because... I want to be excited for the Xbox One X. Like what we saw at E3 on Microsoft stage looked beautiful. Some of those games look stunning. The problem for me is that it just feels like they're using those resources in the wrong place. Like Briar made excellent frame points rate. on frame yeah. rate. Where's Why aren't you prioritizing frame rate? That's what I don't understand. So for me personally, I want to love that console, but I just feel like they're not focusing on the right aspects right now. They could change that. Absolutely. I think they could, but... As of right now, yeah, it's just going to be 30 for the most part. Uh, I'll wait for Briar to put his head. He's back now. He's this, back. Is a, <laughs> this is the question I asked, Briar. Listening to you, and, and I'm happy you got a chance to drain the weasel. Um, listen to you guys talk <laughs> about PC gaming and, and frame rates, you know, and, and things of this nature. What do you think is the future for consoles like the Xbox One X? Because just hearing what you're talking about, the stuff that you have that's a reality Options, for you PC. right now. That's, the, that's what they should be providing. Early on with the PS4 Pro, what one of, what was one of the most exciting things was that they were providing options. A game that got updated for the PS4 Pro would say, "Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do the we'll do the 4K version that runs at 30 frames, 30 frames. per second, okay. or you could play it at 1080p at well, 60 frames." Okay. Yeah, right. Give me the option. Yeah. Uh, if I got a 4K TV, I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna check out the 4K," but. If I have the option for 60, if I actually want to play the game, guess what? I'm actually going to play the game. You're going to go with 60. And you know what? Who makes Tomb Raider? What company? Uh, Square? Square Enix. Square. Square. Enix. I know. Square's going to see those analytics of how people are playing that game. And they're going to target. I don't know. They want to put 4K on the box, though. Because I, th- I feel like it's just like a buzz. It's a catchphrase. Yeah, yeah. I mean, too much Luke, of a marketing Luke, phrase. Looping right yeah. away back around to what I said at the start, though. Apple could be a market mover in this space. I hope if so. They, I hope so. If, well, Apple, if Apple do something, everyone else follows suit, generally speaking. Right? Apple I mean, when's the last time you saw a headphone port? Fire <laughs> <laughs> oh, just killed him. He just killed him. <laughs> That's the one thing. But I'm saying, like, Apple, you know, the people didn't know they needed tablets until they brought out the iPad. Still have a headphone you know? jack. There you go. Well, just ended the whole conversation, Gary. <laughs> right. If no, he's right, though. He's right. If the iPhone 8, I mean, fine, the iPad Pro is a niche product. You know, the iPad Pro is what yeah. it is. Uh, but if the iPhone 8 takes the 120 adaptive display, you know, how many people have I- iPhones? That's like, what, like 60% of the market, maybe? Maybe 65? It's a, it's like a huge percent. Who knows? Yeah, if, if all of them see 120 hertz on their screen, they're going to yeah. start asking for that in more places. And then what yeah. if... Uh, what if like, okay, so YouTube all of a sudden says, well, these people have 120 hertz displays. Why don't we start supplying videos at 120 hertz? Shit. Yeah, man. You know? Like, tight. what if, you know, what if you could record a video? I don't know how you'd fucking do it. I don't know what you'd use to record. Maybe that's dumb. Sorry, what? what could, <laughs> I don't know, even know if there's a way to record 120 hertz video. Oh, I don't think uh, so. No. You'd have to use like a high speed camera <laughs> and then speed up the footage somehow. <laughs> I mean, either way, I think it's becoming more mainstream. People are asking about it, people are talking about it. The amount of times um, this E3 and this year that people have released games, and the first thing people are asking on Twitter is like, what frame rate is that game going to be playing at? That's yeah. never happened before. People it's haven't been asking about With Destiny 2 on console, that's been a that was a huge question a lot of people had and destiny's 30 fps on console but people want to know is destiny 2 going to be 60 that answer was no on console yeah, so. it's happened all the time so i think the market's moving that way i think people are starting to wake up to the fact that 30 just doesn't look good you know it, it, it did it's when definitely you... opened my eyes playing on pc seeing the difference yeah uh yeah so to wrap up your, your question basically um am i excited about consoles 
yes for the console. I think the Xbox One X is a really good console. I think it gives console players the best standing they can possibly have. It's not going to move me back to console. I might buy it um, just because I like you to have things. Will, yeah. But I'm probably not going to play it, if I'm honest with you. I, I, what I like about the PC ecosystem is not just the gaming, but the the library that's available to me. So Steam, you know, all the different launches that I've got, everything's neat. And the hard drive space is so cheap and affordable. Like I've got like about 10 terabytes, I think, on my PC, about Whoa. 400 games installed. Serious? Yeah, I, it's it's there. So if one day I fancy playing a game, it's there, ready to go. I bought just don't 10 get games on Steam during the summer sale, and I think I spent around $30. I bought it's, probably around the same and spent probably around the same amount of money. Those sales are amazing. Devil's Advocate, I did the same thing on the PlayStation. Well, the mid-year sale, I, I bought eight games. I think I spent about 20, 24 bucks. So some good shit, really good deals, too. That's true. That's true. You know, God of War 3 remastered for $6? Man, you can't beat that. Yeah, but that's Steam $30. Summer you sales be put sweet. towards a PC build. That's Steam good. sales. Yeah, Robbie, the other, the all other... of you guys have moved over, not me. It, yeah. We're trying. <laughs> it, I, I, I'm not like a PC gamer, right? I'm just drawn to the PC more, especially because I'm a Destiny gamer. I am a Destiny guy. Especially right? now, yeah. I love Destiny, and I can't wait for Destiny 2. I'm drawn toward the PC because I get a higher refresh rate, and I'm not spending a whole lot more money. I bought my PC... For around, I think it was around a thousand bucks, which is a lot compared to a console, but also does so much more, you know? Yeah. And it's yeah. not a lot, lot more. Let's be honest. It's not a I fortune. Spent more, more than that for this fucking laptop. Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm going to send you my money, Briar. You can buy my computer for me. Dude, I, Just get I a made a video a couple of weeks ago. About a PC that I saw at Best Buy. All right. Yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah. I just got yelled at for talking about Best Buy. So I apologize. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is a pre built PC with an RX 580, an i7 7700. It's not a 7700K, so you're not going to overclock it. But this is going to be well capable of running any game you want, any current game you want. At 1080p, 60 frames per second, it was six hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Six hundred and fifty dollars. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't an i7 77 RK. It was a Ryzen R5. It was yeah. a. It was a. So that's like the new, a the new slash mobile CPU too. Yeah, the Ryzen. Yeah. It's not a mobile CPU. No, it's a. It's. It's the not a mobile CPU, CPU but. It's an octa core. CPU. The Ryzen 7 is 8 cores. I think Ryzen 5 is 6 cores and Ryzen 3 is, is 4 cores. I'm not sure. I'm not it's, sure. It's still more cores than the Intel counterpart. Yeah. Well, Ryzen, what AMD is doing right now on the desktop side is they're offering more processing power for about half the price of what Intel is offering it for. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing that when I fold this laptop away and put it away. I'll be joining the big boys, getting my, you know, lots of space for my mouse and keyboard to play some games with you guys. Gary likes I to just, joke about the master race, right? Beastly. He's not he's not joking, Briar. He well, I mean, it's a it's a half joke cuz he truly believes what he's saying, but he's doing it in a gesturally way. Yeah. I think maybe he's got a different perspective. <laughs> I I just look down at you with disdain for even owning consoles. <laughs> but uh, I mean, if you are going to move to a PC, if there's some reason you absolutely need to be mobile, then yeah, get a laptop. But if there's not, any not way you can point. avoid it, definitely get a desktop because it's, you get your choice of monitors, you get your choice of graphics cards, you can upgrade it. There's well, no reason there's, there's, to buy a laptop. Yeah. Not at this point. I mean, the laptop I have now, you know, has Thunderbolt 3 on it. And it's not that old. K it's what, two years old? Two years old. 4K monitor, touchscreen. You know, it has... You a can't game on I've... 4K at that, though. No. I mean, no. 20 frames per fucking second. Yeah. You know, and I, when I was buying it, you know, I was reading all the reviews. Everybody said it was so amazing. I was like, this is all I need. And I buy it, and then a week later, it's dated. 
And so this is what I need as far as moving around the house or rendering videos around the house. Well, that's the difference between PC and console right there is you Mm -hmm. buy a console and it's relevant for years and years, Mm -hmm. less years than the Xbox 360 because now we've got mid-cycle upgrades in our consoles. With PC, when you decide to buy in, you have to accept the knowledge that whatever I just bought is going to be obsolete in... Not obsolete, three years. but it's not going to be the newest, greatest in three years. Fuck, four months. Yeah, one year. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, you've got, what, a nine, nine to 12 month cycle on the graphics cards, the CPUs, probably an 18 month cycle on the I would say six, month, six months on the, on the graphics cards because you're going to get it. You got a the TIs. Yeah, you got a TI cycle in there. Yeah. Yeah. And but, GPUs I mean, the, or CPUs is probably about a one year cycle. Yeah, but I mean, from a PC perspective, it's not always about having the latest and greatest. It's about having something that's going to meet your requirements, and it's modular to upgrade. And those parts retain some value. You know, so I always replace my graphics card every 12 months. Wilson's in chat right now. He just sold a 970 for 150 bucks. Wilson, what's up, baby? Holy heck, Wilson. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know. From my perspective, it's it just it feels like there's a big barrier put in to say, oh, the PC is expensive. I think there's an initial outlay, but it comes down to a priorities thing. And that's what I was kind of saying is if you really want to do it and it's within your reach to do so, then, you know, it, it does make sense. It's a better experience. It's objectively better than a console and it can do everything that a console can do. If you want to hook your PC up to a living room TV and but use it, a controller can, on it. Is that true, yeah. though? Can it do everything a console can do? Can, can, a, console do? can a PC play... Halo? What, 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 uh, can can Halo a PC Forge? play uh, Last of Us? Last of Us? That's the Forge thing, Forge. right? Is the console game exclusives. exclusives. You're absolutely right, Briar. Yeah, exclusives yeah, are I mean, definitely the biggest thing that keeps me on console, too. That's all I that's play it for. That's the biggest really. frustration. You've got PlayStation now, which you can play on your PC without actually owning a PlayStation 4. And there are PlayStation 4 games being added to PlayStation now. Yep. So you have got some exclusives. For uh, me, for the longest time, the reason that I stayed on the consoles and I, I rejected PC gaming was because PC gaming was such a pain in the ass. I was so sick of... I came into PC gaming, I'm old, in the 90s and in the early 2000s. And it was all about IRQ okay. conflicts and, you know, why won't this hard drive... Which jumper do I got to connect on this hard drive to get it to work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Windows is still kind of a bitch. It's still, I mean, you still got to deal with Windows rot and driver issues and stuff like that. But overall, it's much better of an experience. And if you spend, if you spend a little bit more money than on a console, you get a better experience. Mm. But it's definitely not going to be as easy as just plugging a console in with an HDMI port. Good point. But I mean, nowadays the PC builds are. Uh pretty cheap to have someone else do the dirty work for you and overclock it you know it's what like 50 dollars extra and someone will overclock it cable manage it put it together you just bring it in and plug it in and it works and steam launchers helped with all your compatibility geforce experience you know that handles your drivers i mean i, I started around the same time as you Brian. to be fair like i was playing mmos like i was playing um everquest and Assurance call too and, like, is so some, fun. some old shit like, everquest was PC. not fun Listen, yeah, I played EverQuest on PS2. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, we interrupted Gary. Go ahead, Gary. Finish your point. No, it's cool. <laughs> I was playing that through. I mean, like, MMO-wise, I played like Dark Age of Camelot. I played uh, Legend of Mir, uh, Anarchy Online, then World of Warcraft, which I've been playing now for 12 years, funnily enough. But yeah, back then, I completely agree that it was hell, you know, absolute hell to build and create a PC, and it was expensive. Now, it's much more affordable much more easy to get a PC that's built and looks nice. All right, it's easier, but I don't know if it's more affordable. I think it is, because I remember my PCs. I found an invoice from one of my first gaming PCs that I bought, and this was back in 19... No, no, 2001. Well, I think when I bought it with my own money. It was 2001. Um, This is, what, like 16 years ago? Yeah. Uh, And this was £2,200, so that's... Exchange rate back then that was about three thousand dollars, and this thing shit. was like a Pentium Whoa. two. Damn, like, son, it that's was a like, lot of money back then. Yeah, holy shit. 
and, and that was equivalent of what I'd say would be a, a high street top end. It wasn't like enthusiast level, but it was like if you went and bought an i7 7700 and 1080 Ti, which you could get nowadays for like what, like two thousand dollars, maybe. So you know, yeah, real money wise, if you're smart about your money, yeah. And three thousand dollars in two thousand and one versus two thousand dollars now, you know, that's probably closer to like maybe four four and a half thousand dollars worth of PC that I had then. And Gary, and how, many, how many lawns did you have to cut to afford that? Weren't you like fifteen back then? And it was how many dicks did I have to suck? Trust me, it was it was a big <laughs> summer. Wow. A little known fact about Gary. There you awesome go. Awesome cocksucker. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking world class. Man, <laughs> I went through, so good to get that much money. I went yeah, through yeah. bags and bags of chapstick. Trust me, it was it was a rough. You actually, summer. if you're good at it, you actually don't have to suck a lot of dick to make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about like like if you suck it, dick sucking. Then you got to suck a lot of dick to make money. Listen, please, please stop. Everybody, stop. Listen to my family in the living room watching this. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. My wife that and kids PC are in the living room is... watching this right now. I promise you, this is not every show. I love that you. Was built on a foundation. It was built on a foundation of fellatio. Trust me. It was, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> right? The key is... <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, seriously. Knocking on the door of their own brown Narnia. That's what we go for. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. <gasps> but um, so it's not, the question no, isn't how many dicks did you suck it's how well did you suck those dicks because you paid for it <laughs> I'm going to be honest a gentleman never tells but, um... never, forget, never forget these thoughts never forget this fucking show this is the worst thing we've ever talked about that may be true yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything this bad <laughs> I'm talking about flashback to the past as well yeah, I've been Absolutely. You you mentioned you put a tweet out for it, Briar, and I fucking hate you for it. I've been playing World of Warcraft like <laughs> for two weeks straight now. I haven't slept, I haven't gone out, I haven't washed. This Shit. vest is this is a cry for help. This isn't a fashion choice. Like I'm just that's your, that's your girlfriend's sports bra. You, you sports bra. I know. Man, I am so hard back on that. I put like I said about ten thousand hours total so far. And this week, I've probably done about another 65, 70 hours. Jeez, it's been ridiculous. Gary, yeah. Gary's referring to the tweet. I, my, he found the son. one of my, yeah, one of my kids wanted to start playing Overwatch. So instead of them buy, <laughs> instead of buying them a forty dollar copy, I said, you know, why don't you log into my Blizzard.net account? You can download it on your PC if you like it. Maybe we'll talk about buying you a copy in a week. If you bounce off of it and you don't like it, then no I'll harm done, right? Right. While he was logging into it, I realized like how many games were on my Blizzard.net account or Battle.net. I don't even know what it's called. Battle.net. One it's of them was Blizzard World of Warcraft, no. which you know, how long ago was that? So I had to have a conversation about him. Strong about long conversation. You know, say no to drugs. Rose and the bees. World of Warcraft, not even <laughs> once. <laughs> it's a slippery slope, man. It is a slippery oh, slope. Gary knows. You said you put I ten thousand hours into that game. Plus, plus, That's I'm loving it. Life, I am loving it. I was running around to little gnomes, stabbing people in the knees, loving my life. That's it. Yeah, and getting down on your knees, apparently, for a totally different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now we oh. brought it back. Shit. Man, that's it's that's that's not over. I will straight up suck your dick for a PC. No. No. <laughs> wow. Straight up. Straight up. I got a five month old watching this. <laughs> well, I question your judgment letting her watch it, to be honest. I don't yeah, even feel seriously. guilty. Beast, I really do. I question your parenting skills right now. He's with his other parent. She's with her other parent right now. Turn it off, babe. Turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off now. It's too late for that. We've corrupted yeah, that mind. Of course you ain't gonna uh, turn it off. It's too damn good. Damn. <laughs> and this is what happens when you have like most of a bottle of wine as you're going through this show. Man. This is a great episode. It's it, it couldn't have been any better. Right. Yeah, well. You're still Irish on the cream. same the same glass. Say what? Have you been drinking that through osmosis? How slow do you drink? Oh, you got the bottle. Yeah, I got the bottle. You know what I want to see? I want to see a strong chug straight out the bottle right now. A oh. strong chug. But the, but 
You can't see it come out of the bottle. See, I can pretend. Look. I don't care. Do it for the viewers. Do it. No, do it legit. I can pretend. Honor system. I mean, are you a man? Are you a man? <laughs> are you willing to? Man. I, is that the kind of man you are that you would just like pretend suck out of a bottle? Is that the kind of BC? Funny. That's not a BC gamer. Man. That's a pussy gamer. That's you, a pussy gamer. Yeah. I mean, this is the last episode of the Beastly Gaming Podcast. You gotta go out. <laughs> Look at him. That's how he's gonna send the podcast out, pretending to drink in a cream. Bro. I'm a fucking man, bro. Good for you. I have three percent more respect for you now. Thanks. <laughs> God damn it. You, you know what, Beastly? I think I'll say you're a true Final Fantasy fan now as well. Won't bug you Thanks. about that ever again. Thank Good you, for Robbie. You. Oh. Actually, basically, basically, last time we spoke, you said you've been playing Zelda. Yo, right have now, we have 144 players? viewers. Coincidence? Huh? <laughs> 144 viewers, 144 hertz. Good, good shit. Nobody else right. leaving. Nobody come back. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who fucked it up? Room. Who just joined? 145 now. Damn it. Get out of here. We don't want you here. Just leave. <laughs> get out. We need, we need to get up to 160, bro. This is how we increase the viewership. Get out of here. Just get, leave. get the fuck out. Um. God, Gary. Yeah, Brian I can't believe is it's a corruptive influence on everybody. He's totally corruptive. What Thank you so are much. What are you talking about? Uncrazmatic. You're absolutely <laughs> right. I was doing good until Briar told me to get fucked up. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that bluntly, but me. I keeps it real, baby. Real. So it's a good thing that my wife uh, took one of my all the years. important topics. Definitely this this week, <laughs> we've we've covered off everything that I wanted to talk about for sure. Yeah, you sure did talk about a lot, Gary. Oh boy. <laughs> well, so I don't remember we... what we talked about. Well, it's <laughs> one of those shows. Something. <laughs> so let me ask you guys a question: What is in the future for you? What are you? Are, are you doing exclusively Twitch, Briar, or are you still dabbling oh, in YouTube? Uh, YouTube is definitely taking a backseat to Twitch right now because, uh, you know, as a Destiny related, you know, Destiny focused channel, right? Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot to talk about. I could talk about the news, but I'm just regurgitating news, right? It's like uh, IGN makes a video and I make a video reacting to that. That's regurgitation, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not what I, what my favorite thing to do is. I like to talk about my impressions, my experiences. Like that's what's fun to me. Right now, Destiny, like there's not a whole lot to talk about. Destiny Two is where it's at, yeah. Twitch is much more fun for me than YouTube, because on Twitch I'm playing PUBG, I'm playing Cal, uh, I'm playing Wolfenstein. Uh, I'm gonna start playing Vanguard. Vanguard is dope. Have yeah, you guys man. checked out Vanguard? <laughs> Yeah, it's no, the I remake. Isn't I it? It the uh, the remake of the old console That's game from the old 360 game. I don't know where it came out initially. Yeah. I know it's a remake of a console game, but it runs at 4K yeah. at like yeah, 60 yeah, frames the robot, per second, you slide like around flawlessly. And stuff? Yeah, it's fun as shit. You, you mean you mean Vanquish? Vanquish. Vanquish. You yeah, said, you're you right. said Vanquish. Oh, Vanquish right. is amazing. Right. Yes. How many how many beers oh. you had, Briar? Um, <laughs> I'm on my fifth beer. I would drink six, but my wife stole one. He said Vanguard earlier, but I was, too, awesome. I was too fearful of him to correct him, to be honest. So I just let you him ought to be. mistake and run with you it. You ought to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thug life, motherfucker. Thug life. Shit. What about you, Gary? What's in your future plans? Are you planning on doing YouTube? If, if another podcast came along that was as fun or better than this Why one. Why are you fucking around? You keep just like dancing around this podcast. You're like basically lying. You know we're starting another podcast. There's going to be another podcast. It's going to be on Sunday nights. It's going to happen in a while. We're not talking about it tonight. It's Tonight is a celebration about Beastly Thoughts. Let's leave it at that, but stop fucking lying. <laughs> this motherfucker is fucking all right. I was all ready to talk about my new YouTube channel that was coming yes. out. I want to hear yeah. that. What, what is Briar talking about? <laughs> Briar, don't troll the viewers. Gary, Gary that's what, real fucked up. Tell me about Vita Life. <laughs> tell us about your Vita exclusive YouTube channel. Vita YouTube, Vita is, I come on, YouTube.com slash Vita Life. I, come on I want week. to hear the Vita 2 speculation as well. And I, uh, I show you all the Vitas 
that I've sucked dicks for that week. <laughs> um, <laughs> exactly it. <laughs> you know, this one, four dicks. Really sloppy jobs. This one, once. But it was great. You know, masterful. This is, this is the Hatsune Miku collector's sorry, edition, man. I sucked some Japanese oh, dick for that one. Okay, okay, okay. You do this every week. Is that no, harder or easier, Japanese dick? Yeah, I, I think it's a lot smaller. <laughs> whoa, like whoa, whoa. I don't know. I think I think stereotypes can be misleading, man. It was. God it was... damn, beastly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, Who needs no, that grand know. wizard no. cloak now? <laughs> jokes, jokes aside, I do want to. I do want to do some streaming. Um, possibly, possibly not on um, on my own channel, but I'll have a look around. There's some there's some options. But um, Gary, let me let me just say this, Gary. No matter what you do, uh, all joking aside, you're an incredible personality. You're very engaging, and you like pull people in. It's like you're your own planet. I love you. I think you're extremely talented. I think that this is your calling, even though you have a, an incredible and successful career in other places. Uh, but I think anything you decide to do, whether it be streaming or just a podcast or just talking about what you love to talk about, people will come. Just look at our comment section. So many people love you. I came a little bit 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so many people have <laughs> talked about, talked about how much they love you from the very first Basically, episode. You're next in the queue. You can stop. You don't have to keep asking. I'm, I'm there. Don't worry. Just unzip. I'll be there. It's fine. Don't worry. Right. Question answered. It's fine. Bad news is I'm the fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> Bad no, 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 no. news sounds like good news to me, bro. No, no. When I'm down on my knees with basically, I'll be thinking of you, bro. Don't worry. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, my God. <sighs> the wow. legacy is dead. At what point just... do you think we lost this podcast? At what point? I don't even remember. It was it, so it was episode, episode 26. Yeah, it was early. <laughs> it was really early. Like, in our early early phases like 15 or 20 it was it's been pretty bad since what about you what about you robbie are you planning on just going you know as far as twitch twitch 100 percent. youtube frustrates me i'm going to be honest it's just kind of frustrating to me well, twitch is a wonderful live audience i love the idea of it and like you guys said i'm a talkative person i do like being funny and joking and entertaining crazy. it makes sense it does so we'll, we'll tell you what, if, if it's something you're planning on doing, go on Twitch, I'll go with you, and that way we can bring a little of the old to some of our viewers in the future, because I'm not dead, I'm not done with YouTube, I still enjoy doing it, uh, but the Beastly Thought Show is something we're all stepping away from for obvious circumstances, yeah. uh, and I, I love you guys, I want to take this moment to just let everybody know, the viewers, my co-hosts, how much I appreciate every moment that we've shared together, this, is, this has changed my life, and I'm sure it's changed a lot of you guys' lives in many ways, and it's been a very special thing for me. And uh, I appreciate everybody who's been a part of it. Thank you all so much. Yeah, thank you. It's been wonderful. It has been one hell of a ride. Now I'm and and join us it. next week for the PS Vita podcast. <laughs> What's it called? Vita Life? Vita, Vita Life. Life. It's a lot of <laughs> eyes. A lot of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but just one F. <laughs> I'm down for that. I'm down. I'm sure you are. We all got Vitas. I got five or six of them. I'll send you one, Robbie. You can be on. You can be on with the podcast. I got boy, a special boy. lanyard that I'm gonna wear <laughs> with the Vita hanging from it. Flavor Flav style, man. Love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. What's let's just get like Vita rings too. Just have Vitas all over my hands, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tattoos. V I T A L I F E. So I'll be like, pita, pita. Vita lives. The we'll intro to every podcast. Gonna... Vita life. You know what? I'm just gonna get a Vita tattoo, like a teardrop under my eye, just hanging from. The oh, side. just just like the shape of the Vita. I like it. I like it. Like a teardrop. No. I'm going to ask everybody. Always here, a class act, Gary. Always a class act. Including my co hosts, right? Presentable. This is the last request I'll make on BC Thoughts. I want you guys to go buy Primal Carnage on PlayStation 4. Oh, it's that's like the last thing you're you. going to go out with. Fuck you. Yeah, that's, that's what I want you to do. God damn it. You're talking about Vita. I can talk about this. Who the cheap fuck ass are you? Vita is a fucking meme. Don't shit on people. Nobody's it's actually three. buying a Vita, Beasley. It's a fucking <laughs> meme. I got a point, bro. Beastly, you got a listen, real good point. If you're a real man, you would recommend Final Fantasy to people. Or Primal Rage or some dumb shit like that. 
<laughs> guys. I know. Years later, people will look back and go, "How did that show go out?" And I don't know. He was trying to sell some shit on PSN. <laughs> 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 was he, was he sponsored by Sony? It would be a price. Sony but, Pony okay, till the end. So till the end. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, God, God, no, but God. seriously, the game was like thirty dollars normally. It's on sale for like three fifty right now, and it's I wonder really why fun. That is. Oh, shut up, Gary. Yeah, no it's one really bought really it. Fun. I can't even count the amount of memes we've created just on this episode. Like, it's ridiculous. So. <laughs> It'd be a ton. Uh, yeah. Well, you can spend $3 and hang out with basically on whatever the <laughs> fuck carnage it was. Or you can Bible spend 1000 <laughs> and hang out with me and Briar and Robbie on mm. a PC. Um, yeah. And have all the frames. How many frames is Primal Carnage? Oh. 20, goddammit! Oh, oh, Robbie! Come on. You remember that 480 SAM? Yeah. yeah? Robbie. Robbie, oh, I'm sorry. talking to you, yep. right? Yep. Eye contact, Robbie. Look at me right now. Yes. You remember yes. that 480 I sent you? Yes, I do. Put that fucking shit on eBay right now. Take it out of your PC. Put it on eBay. Sell it. Because the mining, yeah. For four hundred dollars or seventeen thousand dollars Canadian. <laughs> go buy yourself. <laughs> go buy yourself a fucking 1080. I swear to God, that shit. It's fucking insane, man. <clears throat> Wilson just sold a 970 for 250 bucks. I have been thinking about it. Do it, Rob. I, Don't it think about it. Mind. Do it, Robbie. Do it. Do it. You have some money left over and you have a better better graphics card, man. Yeah. Boom. Do it. Do it. I, I will Do join it. you guys. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Robbie. Uh, Do it. Do it. Well. Are we leaving? Is as, this the end of the show? Want, well, seeing as they're I feel like Gary's like ending the show right now. Where the where the fuck can people find us? Gary, That's the thing we're gonna disappear. Yoko Ono of Beastly Thoughts is ending the show. <laughs> I, I got a half a beer left. Are Gary, we gonna carry this on? Are we gonna run a two-hour show? We said we've, until we've Brian says this beer. We're not. We've exhausted every them. possible talking point. Is there anything else we can possibly? Primal Carnage is three dollars and fifty cents oh, off the oh, station. Oh, All right, okay. we'll end the show. We'll end the show. Mid-year sale. You're right, it's Beastly. We'll end the show. <laughs> Strong point. I'm going to go play Primal Carnage when this shit is over. Fuck you guys. You could give that to me on PS Plus. I wouldn't even use the hard drive space to download it. Like Victor Vram. That's so demeaning. <laughs> it's Man. such a fun game. You've you triggered fuck. me right now. I don't even want to be on your show. <laughs> you, fuck you, motherfucker. You know Just to trigger Beastly, I'll buy it. I'll never actually download it or play it. <laughs> fuck you too, you Canadian asshole. But- one better. I bought Briar a game, Victor Vran. He was like, yeah, man, no worries. I've downloaded it. We saw his screen when he was sharing it. That shit hasn't been downloaded. Oh my <laughs> He's full gosh. of shit, man. That's what he was talking about last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's full of shit. He, he's done slipping on that one. He was like, yeah, he's downloaded it. Don't worry. It's fine. Bullshit. Bullshit, man. Three gigabytes of gaming. He can't be bothered to download. He's got better things to do. Unreal, bro. <laughs> You got caught slipping there, bro. Man, that's two dollars I'll never see again. For that <laughs> the poor two dollars. I'm invoicing oh, you. It was, it was on PSN. No, no, it's not PlayStation, man. Stop thinking we play that shit. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Oh, so you gifted it to him, and he still didn't bray. Wow. I just that's actually a lot. You can actually buy it on PlayStation, but it's forty dollars on PlayStation or two on PC. So it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you Fuck you. It's true. Drink okay. that Zippendale and shut up. <laughs> There's some Jesus. saltiness here. Wow. This is bullshit. <clears throat> I feel like so this is end. the. This is how beastly thoughts do the end. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it could have gone any better than this. It, this it could have gone. Perfect. It could have gone any different way. No. Couldn't go on any yeah, different way. Right, the only thing possibly that could make it better is for Beastly to show us his keyboard. I don't have one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been that, that might have been my favorite moment of Beastly Thoughts. Ever. Oh my god. Beastly got a brand new laptop. The webcam obviously is pasted to the top of the screen. <laughs> you know, right? And I'm like, well, what's the keyboard look like? So he, he shuts the fucking laptop. <laughs> oh, now I'm remembering. Yeah. Boom. Oh, That's what it go. fucking looked like. Okay, bro. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, 
No, I'm not gonna close it. I have the camera think, in my fucking hand. I think it was me and uh Not too nerdy. Not there. too nerdy. Was and that was really Inner Black yeah, Ninja, are you still here? Were yeah. you there for that moment? Because I know Not Too Nerdy was there because we started fucking dying. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was my old computer, and of course they wanted to see the 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 camera that was you know embedded in the top of the the, the computer. Yeah, and so they asked me to bring it down, and so of course as I closed my computer, <laughs> fucking do computer closed, and I was kicked out of the conversation. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty funny. I had knocked that. off line. Robbie, were you there for that? I was. Oh, God, oh, that man. was awesome. <laughs> I said, these fucks. Uh, should we end the show? I guess we should. Thank you, guys. It seems a shame. You don't want to, do you? Right? I don't. I don't. I don't. It's, so, it's, it's the end so of an era, bullshit. right? Four years. Almost four years, right? What, what was the month that we started the show, Beasley? I want to say it was... It it was might before have been... the PlayStation 4 came out. You guys thinking, started like late October, early November. I think it was October yeah. of uh, 2013. <clears throat> it's been almost four years. Almost four and years. I joined in March of 2014, I want to say. Around that, March or April. a long time. We'll always be connected, guys. Don't ever think we won't. Oh, yeah. In some way or another, I promise you all, we're, we're sticking it. Mostly we by plans. paternity test, but also by friendship. Yep. At and least now you know who your real dad is. <laughs> shared a lot of memories and a lot of bodily fluids, but it's it's been a it's been a good show. Especially Gary. Ooh, jeez. Yeah. One last yeah. shot before we part. I don't have any shots. I'm just drinking beer. Uh, I'm drinking. Shout out. Hey, you, let, guys... you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do mm-hmm. questions before we go. Before we end the show, for the last episode of Beast of Thoughts, let's finally take questions. Put your questions in the comments, guys. Yeah, Put your questions in, in there now. From my mother, who's right behind the green. Mom, come on out. <laughs> She's been there 168 <laughs> episodes. Never yeah. came out. Support. Support from the beginning. All right. Anybody got questions? Anybody in Any chat questions got questions? In the comments? Gary's like, God damn it. I really want to go to bed. <laughs> it's like fucking 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm not going to bed, man. I've had this video, right? On Pornhub buffering now for about an hour and forty seven <laughs> minutes. Like, oh, I'm literally just load. waiting. All right, I've Narcus, the... with the question: cereal or milk first? Oh my god, cereal! Cereal? This, Who the hell milk was first. milking? You've got to be a goddamn psychopath to put the milk in first. You're weird. Yeah. You're wait, 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 it depends. It depends. What do you mean? If it you one, depends on what, Gary. Asked, why are we ending the show? Rewind this video after it uploads. We're not done with the last question, talking. Beasley. Oh, I'm sorry. Porridge oats. porridge oats. You always porridge? put the milk in first on porridge oats. And what then pour them What the fuck on. is porridge oats? Porridge oats. What are porridge oats? Like I'm sorry. It's, berry, man. it's some fucking healthy European shit. You Americans just drink like, your cereal's like sugar with coloring. It That's really is. Yeah. This is wrong. correct. This is Cheetos correct. on top. Yeah, M. Costa like says, favorite drink and snake. Trouser snake uh-huh. and... Um, Barefoot, whatever this is. <laughs> it's his favorite drink now. Okay. Robbie, uh, hook us up. What's your favorite drink and snake? Ooh, I really like Irish car bombs quite a lot. Uh, Those well, are pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as just straight up drinking beer, Corona is one I go to a lot. Heineken is good. There's a lot of good ones out there. Uh, neither IPAs one of those beers is good. Yeah, beer is really good. I, I mean, no, no, the no. only ones I don't No, what I said was of... neither one of those two beers that you said is good. What? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, favorite snake? Jeez, yeah. I don't know. I don't really like snakes. I mean, I guess diamondback rattlesnakes are pretty cool, but like, yeah, I don't know. Pass. I don't like snakes, and I'm really not a big drinker, so the only drink I'll say is like the <clears throat> pink muscat. Right. Sorry. I, like, I like uh... Two Roads IPA, and I like any snake that doesn't bite. I think I think we've peaked on, doesn't bite. We've just peaked on questions with eat the booty, yes or no. No. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. wait I wait. got What's that. he mean? It, what's he mean by it, it, it depends on the woman? Well, who said woman? Who said We're woman? Yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about, basically? Toss the salad. 
This is bullshit. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this show. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, Dead snake beer. Hmm. Best Star Wars movie bar Empire because we all know Empire's back. Oh. What's the best Star Wars movie not including Empire Strikes Back? I'd have awesome. to say New Hope then. New yeah. Hope? Yeah. Don't give me because, that. Like, just assume menace. gender equality bullshit. That's some millennial bullshit that I'm not dealing with. What? That gender. Like, did you just assume gender? Who <laughs> said that? Basically, assume gender, man. I was all about eating the ass. I never said female ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh... I don't know where you can <sighs> fucking continue with that. I'm just staring <laughs> at my drink, Wars, wondering maybe? where I am. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Star what Wars. happened? Okay. What happened? It started out. We're so good. We we talked about video games. <laughs> we had to record the video via Xbox Live. <laughs> it, was all, it was all about the games, man. That was, was a million years game. ago, Briar. Now we're that talking was... about sucking dicks and eating ass. <laughs> eating eating bullshit. What is going wrong? <laughs> Let's get back name, on track. Favorite Star Wars movie. Name of the, okay. Well, look, A New Hope was be my my number one pick, but of course, I really, really enjoyed uh, Episode Seven. Yeah, it was good. That was fucking great. Yeah. Um, if, if anybody chooses one of the prequels, I'm going to fly to where they live you. and knock you the fuck oh. out. Oh, uh, Phantom Menace, right? Right. I'll fuck you for that. No, 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 no. Right, right. Why are we Phantom okay Menace? Because. You yeah. could sit outside the movie theatre and see real disappointment. You could see people's hearts <laughs> break as they left the theatre. And for me, that's priceless. That's that's better than any Star Wars film. Just watch people happy, cheering outside. They come out of it and they're just like... What? Side note, guys. Uh, least, that's not even not what happened, Gary. It was people trying to justify what they had just seen. They were trying to like... <laughs> they were trying to apologize for George Lucas on the way out the theatre. <laughs> It wasn't until episode two where they really figured out that this shit is actual crap. <laughs> yeah, at that point, right. it's like, oh, th- I want to love this. This is just not good. Yeah. I like it. You're all light drinkers. You figured that out, did you? <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's a good question, guys, from oh. Low. Oh, oh, yeah, white white discounting the, the previous questions, clearly, Beasley. What a motherfucker. Did you just assume <laughs> the question's validity there? I no, think you I, did. I think I'm, you did. In, I'm inferring that this is a good question. I think he's inferring that the last question was shitty. You guys are no, way too drunk. No. Come on. Come I mean, on. Let's get back on track. Eating ass, and it might get you shitty. Give a shit fly. about your viewers, do you, man? <laughs> give a Damn. shit about. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where do you guys see yourselves in ten years, and what you want uh, to do to improve your YouTube channel or Twitch channel in the future? That's from LOL. Why you mad though? Three. Ten years from now, I see myself as a father of five. That means no more children. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a good choice, I would say. With a, with a very is, successful. Is your wife pregnant right now? That, no, hell no. She's always pregnant. Are seems. you sure? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> been pregnant once in the last five years, Robbie. I don't know what little pregnant chick you're talking about. I don't know. It seems like she's always having a new baby. So. <laughs> Name them, you Jesus. shithead. No well, six. there was Gary. There was <laughs> King of Beastlo. Remember that King one? King of Beastlo is yeah. a good one. King of Beastlo. <laughs> what about Dick? What was it? It was a Dick. Uh... Oh, what was the what Dick was the Buckus? No. Oh God, it will come back. Gary to me. was there. He was in the comments back. Then. I was in the yeah, comments. We were naming your baby. Like, what were the other names? King of Beastlo oh. was the one that stuck. Yeah. Was it Dick Trickle. I think it was Dick Dick. 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 <laughs> I want to say it was Dick Trickle. <laughs> That's Gary, fuck you remember. Oh, my God. I want to say it was Dick Trickle. Ten years I forgot now, the question. I see myself oh, as a huge from. Twitch streamer, and you guys can help make that happen. If Twitch Basically, is still I feel around. like it's your calling, man. You just got to figure out how to how to, how to to fit the time in. Because you, you're That's literally you're a magnetic personality, and you, you have passion for the video game you're playing. I feel like it's your calling. Man. And I believe Even if it. Just You're don't the people launch. Know, don't launch the channel with Primal Carnage. Whatever the fuck you do, that just avoid that. It's game. a good game, Gary. <laughs> you expect me not that. to play a good game? It's actually a really good game. You should stop hating on the game until you play it. 
It's very fun. I promise you, if you guys spent the three fucking dollars to buy the game, you would all like the game, and we'd play it all night long. Is it on Steam? Dixie, shut where up. Did your question go? There it is. Bit trickle. <laughs> no, I will not be the father of ten children in ten years. God damn you! Fuck you with that comment. No, it's not happening. Yeah, we've I'm already established years. in like episode th seven that Dixie, that Dixie, that Beastly's pullout game is pretty weak. <laughs> Ouch. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I think in ten years' time, Dixie. I'll probably still be in this episode from the <laughs> way it's feeling right now. We gotta go, just... guys. We gotta go. We gotta go. Because, uh, oh, you're getting yelled at? You... No, no, it's fine. I'm just, just saying. Ten years' time, we we may have wrapped this show. Maybe. <laughs> I won't be a grandfather. Well, I might be a grandfather in ten years. I got a, a sixteen year old. So, who's gonna be, be younger? Your first grandson. Or your last son. Really? Hey, you like fucking. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I like the, Okay. <laughs> Let's get back on track. Narcus asks best superhero. <laughs> best superhero? Superman. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love Spider-Man. I'm gonna go Spider-Man. Beastly Gamer. Best superhero. Absolutely. You're my superhero, Beastly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I mm. don't pull out though. I need to <laughs> I mean every superhero has this weakness. <laughs> <laughs> <With Southeast. laughs> Superman had his trips tonight. <laughs> Beastly Strength. Gamer has his pull out game. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to I need to have it buffed. Pull out game needs to be buffed. Thanks a lot. Is it too late to put that in the show description? <laughs> what? Put what? Put what? Beastly's pull out game. <laughs> Beastly game is superhero weakness. Pull out game. Oh. In 10 years' time, I see you on an episode of Maury. You know, just being danced at by a woman. <laughs> you are the father of all six. I met him. Uh, at the OK gas station <laughs> to sell him some PlayStation 4 games that I stole off the back of the truck. Yeah, we know the story about <laughs> <laughs> got off the truck. Next thing I know. <laughs> I still love those episodes. It was pointing at the screen. Look, he got your eyes. He got your eyes. That was it. So good. So good. I fucking hate y'all, man. What the fuck is happening right now? This is great. This is unreal. <laughs> Maury, the man. OK gas station. <laughs> is Maury still on TV? Or I mean, it's like yeah, a ten-year-old reference. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He probably retired. He probably retired. No, it's still going on, Brian. Off of all that pregnancy <laughs> test money he made. Kill me, man. <laughs> I don't think he got replaced by Steve. Exactly what Steve I dreamed Harvey. of when I created the PC Thought Show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta <sighs> say, guys, it's been over the last, I mean, it's almost been four years. I'm gonna say four years, even though it's been 3.7 years. Over the last four years, it's been a pleasure. And it's been a pleasure with you guys. It's been a pleasure with the guys who are no longer here, whether it be the Inner Black Ninja or Not Too Nerdy or Cod Made Player. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've on all sorts of shit. Bringing it to Twitch, I think, was amazing. It just every step of the way, it's been a blast. And there's never been an episode there's never been an episode where I didn't want to show up because I knew you guys were here. There might have been episodes where I didn't want to talk about the news that we did, right? Mm -hmm. There might have been episodes where I just wasn't fucking interested in the news that was available. But every week, I showed up because I wanted to hang out with you guys. And yeah. that's what the Beastly Thoughts, in the end, will always be to me. Was the relationships and the the bond that we formed over the last four years was incredible. I and I, I want to thank you guys for that. It was really a fun ride. Yeah, wouldn't change a thing. It has been amazing. Really, I, I would have changed one thing. It would have been nice if we got like a a million viewers per episode. 
Hey, yeah, you know, so I would change that one yeah. thing. <laughs> Me too. But hey, if you I know could what? change it so maybe one of you was female and had large breasts, then that would probably be the only thing I'd change. We just need the viewership with those. I don't want to ask too. which one, Gary, but we love you anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, you don't even need to change gender. Just, just get the. That's real breath. fucked up, Gary. Okay. Uh, anyways, regardless of the viewer number, the <laughs> viewers you, themselves, you are all amazing. Really, though, you are the best people we could ask for. So thank for you. For sure. For sure. Yeah. We do appreciate uh, you guys tuning in every week, it, live yeah. and on YouTube or on Podbean or iTunes. iTunes. Yeah, it makes us happy. ITunes. We're we're just glad to have you here. So we were glad we can make people's day too. We love doing this, and we're glad people enjoy watching. That's very important. I I want to real quickly say this before I go that this has been one of the most important things in my life. Uh, you never know how much friendships can mean until you have real, true, and 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 tangible ones. And you guys uh, have meant more to me than not literally. measured up. <laughs> to get emotional here. Wow, this is a lot. You guys have meant more to me as far as my friendships than a lot of people I've actually physically known and, and had interactions with. And uh, that's something that you can't buy. It's hard to find. And I'll always love you guys. And I'll always love this show. And I'll always love the people who watched us and supported us and rooted us on for the next week. And um, we really appreciate everything that you guys have been. I appreciate all that my co-hosts have been for the weeks that I wasn't here and the weeks that you guys weren't here. <laughs> Uh, the love will never end for me, and uh, it's been a very one of the biggest pleasures of my life to serve alongside such an amazing group of people, such talented people and dedicated people. Robbie, such a young guy coming in doing what you did. Gary, bringing this whole new direction in and, and helping us. Briar, just being my other half. I love you guys, and I thank you so much for being a part of this. This has been a dream come true for me. It really has. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to have lived it and, and seen this happen. And I really appreciate all of you. Wow, we've cutting onions. Holy crap. Is that it? Are we done? Should I shut yeah, the podcast done. off? Oh, Briar. <laughs>